Hello everyone! Welcome to a DSP video. This video I wasn't necessarily thinking of doing, but a lot of people have requested me to do it, and I I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, you know what, they're right, I should do a video about this. So, here I am, covering this whole Atlas nonsense with DSP. Let's get into it, let's talk about it, and let's see how DSP handled it. So, we're gonna start off with a forum post. This forum, this thread is uh, Atlas's Dragonian Policies? Dreaming Policies? Something like that. I can't remember the title, but who cares. Uh, this guy says Doc. Uh, I'm not going to bother to uh, attempt the rest, but Doc says, Also, people have to understand that when you purchase a video game, music, or movie, you are actually purchasing a license to use the product for personal use, not to generate it to generate, not to use it to generate profit. He is exactly right. I agree with that. Uh, th because, you know, no, yeah, yeah, he, he got he got it. So Phil says, well, this is the issue. That is a gray area and has never been hashed out in court. I love how he he keeps saying like, oh, it's never been hashed out in court, guys. But the whole thing with fair use and stuff, I feel like had to be hashed out in court at some point in time, but whatever. Let's uh, get into it. Let's see what he has to say. When you buy a license for video editing software and you use that software to create a video that generates profit on YouTube, does the maker of the video editing software seek a cut of all the profits from, uh, from the video you made? Phil, that is the worst comparison I've heard you say in quite some time. That comparison makes no fucking sense, because here's the thing, here's the thing, guys. Video editing software is a software. Someone designed that for you to use. It's meant to be used. It's a fuck, it's a tool. Video editing software is a tool. It's for people to edit their videos, their movies, whatever. It's a tool. Like OBS is a tool. You can't compare video games, music, movies, and all that stuff to be tools. They're not tools, Phil. They're art. They're media. People have spent hours of ma of making it. Yeah, you can argue that, oh, creating software takes hours too, but you're ultimately making that software to be used. No one is making a movie, making music, making video games for people to make money or to use it to make money. They ultimately make those things for entertainment reasons. Entertainment has nothing to do with you making money off it because you're not supposed to make money off of the entertainment that someone provides for you. That's why entertainment is a luxury for some people because it's not a necessity. It's not a job. People don't consider entertainment as a job. Well, watching entertainment as a job, I should say. Entertainment is entertainment. You can't compare a video game to, uh, to a software. They're two completely different things. They're, they have two different intents. They're, they're not the same. They're not, in, they're not the same at all. And, and it begs the question, is this is why a lot of you don't consider it, Phil, a real, a real gamer or a gamer in general, because no real gamer views video games as tools. And this is honestly telling to me. He obviously, he obviously views video games as tools, as, to as a way to make money. He doesn't see it as a as an as entertainment or, or mass fun or anything. This to me shows, or is telling me at least, that he's seeing video games as a way to make money. He doesn't care that it's not that it's not a tool. He sees it as a tool. Because it's not a tool. Like he made this comparison. No, but all, but you only purchased a license for that software for personal use. Not to make videos to generate profit, it's understood that software is a tool to create other products. But video games are not tools to create other products. Video games are a very... They're, they're a one-direction product. They go in one direction of a person makes it, they sell it to you, you enjoy it, the end. You don't repurpose it to make money off of it, unless you're doing a review. The only, But... We'll get into that because he talks about fair use uh, momentarily, but see, this paragraph alone is the dumbest paragraph 
next to the last paragraph. And boy, when we get to that last paragraph, just, just you wait. So then it goes on to say, same thing with Let's Plays or Gameplay Streams. You only purchased a license to use that game for personal use, but you created, but you created a transformative work with that software. Who owns the final product? Well, your channel. See, this is the thing. Here is where it, get, it kind of goes back to the gray area. I don't really consider his gaming channel a transformative creative work because he's not changing the game to he's not making something that is transformative. He's playing the game in its entirety. You're seeing everything to its entirety. Uh, he's not doing any edits, he's not adding anything to the thing other than his commentary. With that kind of approach, then I can say that I, I should be able to make money off of DSP's videos on, on this channel because I'm transforming it with my commentary. Like, I mean, I don't necessarily believe that that what I do on this channel is enough to be considered a monetary gain or a monetary... Uh, work of art or anything. I don't think of that with these videos because this is very little menial amount of work I'm putting into this. It's just start record, stop record. I don't consider that a lot of work. I consider videos like, if you go to my main channel, another shameless plug, if you watch Theo Explains, if you watch some of my videos there, I add a lot of things to it. I do things that are more creative and original to me because I'm creating the art in these videos or I'm talking to the camera directly. Uh, those are a little bit more lenient to them being allowed to be monetary because I'm creating something. I'm making something that is that is just from like scratch. I'm thinking about something. I'm creating something. If I were to upload a Let's Play video, let's say I, I upload a video of me doing Life is Strange, which I have, I did not monetize that video because it's not, I didn't edit it, I didn't do much of anything other than me playing the game and talking over it. It's nothing special, it's nothing unique, it's nothing original. And that's how I, that's, that's where I am at with it. If it's not something original, then you then you shouldn't be allowed to make money off it. If it's something, I mean, you you can do it. You have the right, you have the freedom to do it, but I don't think it's something that you should be making money off of. Like, I don't consider this. I I never want this channel to be monetized because I don't think the work I do here is enough to be considered that. You know, I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but that makes sense to me, I guess. But. It is what it is. I mean, I, it, that's just how I view about it. His KO gaming channel is more fair use than his gaming channel. I'll put it that way. I'll put it in DSP terms. KO gaming is at least more creative and more and more um, editing and more just it's it's it's. I can see KO gaming be more fair to fair use than his gaming channel because he does more work for that. Be it that his editing is kind of corny and cheesy and uh, lazy. It's still more put into it than his gaming channel. So let's continue. The problem is game publishers seem to think that video games are the same as movies and television. They indeed are not. Uh, they kind of are, but we'll get into that. They are interactive experiences and cannot advance without the input of the gamer, i.e. you can't make a let's play without input from a human in most cases. Commentary and the other added things only make it further transformative work uh, protected under copyright law as a separate entity from the software itself. However, the thing is, is that when a video game company designs a video game, they design it with the intent that a human is going to play it. So when you're playing in the game, you're pretty much doing what is the intended purpose of that platform. So... Still, it's still not that transformative because when you play a game, you're kind of doing what is scripted in the game. Like, it's scripted to that, oh, we're going to allow the player to move wherever he moves. And he can do whatever he wants. He can pick all these attacks. Like, that, you're doing what the game allows you and what's programmed in the game. So it is not that transformative. What makes it transformative is if you were to edit things out... Edit a lot of the fails out. Keep some of the fails in, sure. 
uh, you know, cut off some stuff that might be dragging, or find, or, or you know, do whatever. He can do a lot of lot of stuff with his gameplay that make to make it transformative. But these raw gameplay videos are not that transformative. Just having face cam and commentary is as much transformative as my videos. And I, as I've said, I don't think that my videos are transformative enough to be to be out to allow me to make money off of these videos. I think these are just enough to be, you know, just watched. And me make zero on them. I make zero dollars on this because I don't think that I should make money off of this. <laughs> but that that's how I feel feel about it. But with video games, that's the intent. It's it's to make it so that you play it. It's not that transformative. The way that he does it, the way that he plays games is not that transformative. KO Gaming is way more transformative than this. In comparison, in comparison, KO Gaming has much more transformative work than DSP Gaming has completely. So let's continue to the next, but, but I will give him credit, I will give him credit. Uh, this paragraph was dumb, it was a terrible comparison, sure. This is, oh, a, a whatever question, this, this I can actually see that, that there is, I, I see the point, I see what he's getting at. I, I do see where, what he's saying. He has a point in some regard, but I don't, but I don't think I agree with it to his, for him. I, I agree generally that if you transform the work, you know, as far as editing and all that kind of stuff, it is transformative work, but the way that he does it, I don't agree with. But I see where he's going with this. With this. So I'll give him credit for this paragraph, okay? I, I can see where he's coming from. In truth. When you purchase a software license, the only real way a company can legally come after you is if you illegally distribute distribute the game. So if you copy the code, rip it from the program software, and try to distribute distribute or sell it, you you are in trouble. But again, the thing is that he's he seems as a very black and white situation. Just because a company claims your video doesn't isn't saying that you're doing something illegal. You are legally, you're in the legal right to upload the video, but you may not be in the legal right to make money off of someone else's work. That's where it draws the line. They're not stopping Phil from uploading gameplay videos. They're not stopping him from playing the game. They're just saying, okay, you can upload this, but since this music is there and it's and you did not sign a contract with us, we have the right to make money off of that. Off of that, I I do think that maybe they should have. And he says later on in this paragraph that they should that they should have a cut, which I agree with, but which is a fair statement to be honest. But uh, they do have the legal right to go after these videos with music in them because it's their fucking music. Um, Let's plates are not illegal and not and ha and never have been. Nobody has ever gone to court to determine the legality of them. When you play a game, you're creating your own unique work of art. No, no, Let's Plays are not a work of art. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to anyone who watches my videos and, are, and is a Let's Player. Your videos are not art. I'm sorry. If we're going to start throwing Let's Plays as art, then um, sports, sports channels are art on, on TV. Sports games are art in the realm of video games. Like, it, it's just, no, they're not art. No, I'm sorry, no. You cannot tell. You cannot convince me that let's plays are art. That no, I disagree with that completely. Um, no. And therefore, the company has no legal right to come after you for full profits. Indeed, they might actually own a cut of the profits, but again, it's never been hashed out in court. But the thing is, uh, with but it's funny that he's saying that he's now saying that it's okay if it's a cut of the profits while. When he was with Machinima, with the whole Nintendo thing, he, he I think he said that Nintendo doesn't own a cut, I think. But I don't remember. I can't remember for sure, but whatever. Uh, but no, Let's Plays are not art. I disagree with that. Now, now let's get on with the craziest paragraph I've ever read. Let me, I need to take a sip, guys, okay? I need to take a sip. I need to take a sip, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, I know that was not a really good snort. I I don't want to. I don't want to snort, guys. Sniffing is the best you're gonna get from me. Uh, so let's get with this paragraph. 
Atlas threatening to spam content ID, copyright strikes, takedown notices on Let's Plays of Persona 5 are 100% illegal threats. They're threats. <laughs> Saying, hey guys, if you stream past this date, uh, you are going to be uh, vulnerable to strikes, or you know, this and that. That's those aren't threats. They're that's just saying this is we're gonna do this if you do this because we don't want this game to be spoiled. But this isn't the craziest thing in this par in this paragraph, guys. Just 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 wait. Just fucking wait. Because there is no legal precedent determining they have the right to do so. It's incredibly stupid and obviously a directive made by management that has no fucking idea how internet culture has evolved within the last five to ten years. Now now. Before we get into the crazy shit, that's, that's, we're right there, right at the crazy shit, guys. Internet culture, that's a DSPism. Get ready, uh, we're gonna go over a lot of videos that DSP has said, and he's gonna spam internet culture down our throats. So enjoy that. Uh, and saying that, it, that internet culture has evolved the last five to ten years is debatable. Some people could argue that it has devolved. But whatever, I mean, we're not gonna talk about the evolution or de-evolution of internet culture because that's not the point of this video. But let's get into the crazy shit, guys. Okay, let's let's get right into it. Th th I'll tell you right now, this part is the most reasonable thing in this paragraph, and this and the stuff here is ridiculous on its own. But <sighs> the game has been out for over six months in Japan. Uh, they had the same spoiler type deal when they came out in Japan, by the way, guys. So keep that in mind. Uh, and there and there are already full Japanese language let's plays on the internet. In truth. Je it's Japanese xenophobia. But these let's but the ban for for Japan has been lifted. That's why you see these let's plays. They had this ban when it came out in Japan. So there's that. But let's let's continue. It's Japanese xenophobia. How dare those English speakers try to make money off of something we made? But while he's able to make money off of the first part of the game, like literally, he's making money off of like everything before the the, the deadline, which is like July seventh. End game is when you're not allowed to stream. After that, you cannot stream. You have to stream. You can stream and make money off of the stuff before it, but now it's. Now he's saying generally, which is not the case, but that's not why they did it either. Like, oh my god, this is this alone. Like, and I said this to Dragon Killer. He's talking about Japanese xenophobia while sounding xenophobic himself in a lot of cases, or just sounding downright racist towards things. I'm not saying that this is malicious racism or saying that oh he thinks it's not that. It's not that kind of racism. It's racism in the sense that he ultimately thinks that Japanese people have the sense of of uh, elitism, which isn't necessarily the case for all Japanese people. And all this stuff, it, it's, just, it's just, he has this preconceived notion, and it's just fucking insane. It, it, that, that's, that's the racism. It's not like violence or like he hates them or anything. I don't think it's that. I just think he has this mentality that he thinks that Japanese people think better than everyone else or something like it, it's it's very fucking weird but that's that's what I'm trying to say but they did not come they did not make this streaming policy because they're racist or they're xenophobic that's not why they made it they made it because they don't want people to spoil the game and that is a reasonable practice they did not come up with this the oh, guys Guys, 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 we need we need a fucking fuck over the uh, English speakers, guys. How are we going to do it, guys? I got it. We have streaming limitations, guys, because fuck them. No. No no one in Atlas thought that. If, Phil, if they were truly xenophobic or whatever you think that they are, they would not release the game outside of Japan. I guarantee they would have just kept the game within Japan forever if they were really xenophobic. But they're not. This is the dumbest conclusion he could have come up with. And it gets even dumber and... Yeah, just, it, let's get into it. Let's, let's, go, let's just go on. And it needs to stop. It's incredibly outdated, pr uh, prejudicial thinking 
that Nintendo Atlas are still stuck in due to insanely outdated mindsets and remnants of a xenophobic culture that needs to progress out of the Dark Ages. Now, I don't want to talk about this, and this is going to be a little sensitive, and it, it, it's... But I'm going to try to to uh, say this as, delic as delicately as I can, so bear with me, guys. This whole thing with 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 what he's trying to get at with the xenophobic culture is something that that has been a, a discussion for years. It's been an, it's been a th it's, people have been talking about it, saying how Japanese how the, how Japan wants to stay inclusive and you know want, isn't very big on immig and immigration and, and you know this and that. That's you know a lot of people attribute it to like why their econom their economy is kind of slowly failing and all that kind of stuff. We don't really need to get into that, but the point is that. These are very serious, real-world, uh, delicate, sensitive issues that have been going on for years. A lot of people have been talking about this. It's it's a very real thing. It's a very real discussion that uh, that is that, that it's just very real. It's a real it's a real thing. And Phil is trying to lump in, trying to throw in this whole fucking Persona Five thing. With that, and I, that alone to me is the most ignorant, insensitive, reckless thing he could have done. He, he, that he that, he's, that he did so far. I mean, it's just like you're taking a real issue, this discussion that a lot of people have been having, and you're just throwing in a let's play fucking issue that's a that's honestly a non-issue into that. Like like that alone is this kind of. The most uneducated, ignorant statement you can make. Like, I may not personally know necessarily as with with all that. I just know that people have been talking about this about the Japanese for for a while. I I've, I know that that a discussion dialogue has been around, but you know I don't throw in, oh my video games I can't stream. It gotta be because of this. Like like that that that's not a. A good conclusion to come out, come off because if someone is very well versed in that issue, they can easily uh, poke a hole with this with this argument probably. But the thing is, is that this 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 uh, mentality of like this conclusion that Atlas made to to restrict streaming isn't because of that. It has nothing to do with these issues and discussions that people are having about Japan. It has nothing to do with that, and he's throwing it in, like he's trying to like latch onto all these fucking. Issues so so they can remain topical. Like it, it's, it, it is so fucking mind numbing how he's throwing this in, and it's the same kind of shit that people have kind of uh, disliked about SJWs by throw by throwing video games into these real world implications of sexism and racism, and throwing video games into that, which has no point in being. It, it's just, it, it's so fucking dumb when you're throwing video games into real world issues. I'm sorry. But like you can't say that the reason Atlas did this is because of the of this issue that's been a thing that people have been has been talking about. It's very reckless. Like this is this paragraph is the dumbest paragraph. He he should have just deleted this paragraph. He would have had a more reasonable uh, argument here. It was reasonable argument he could have made in his own DSP way, but then he throws this fucking paragraph in and it. To me, it shoots every legitimacy in this argument because it's just so fucking dumb. He doesn't get why they come up. They had this, this reason. He attributes this whole Persona Five thing to something that isn't related. And I'm sorry, this is a little tangent, but when I see Phil do this kind of shit, it really does piss me off because, like, it, it's it's like I give him this benefit of like, okay, well, you know, maybe you know, he has some points here and there. He he kind of stumbles. Here and there, but I can see some point he might make. As I said, some of these paragraphs, yeah, he kind of stumbles, but he he might have a point in some areas. This has no fucking point. It's so irrelevant, and it just pisses me off when I see this shit because it's like it's, it's like if if I say something that that you agree with, and then I say something right after that that is just very disgusting and and you really hate it. Are you you're gonna be like, wow, like. So I'm sorry I became a tangent, but it had to be said, I guess. Now let's move on to the fucking videos. Okay, guys, now I have to repurpose uh, this because I made it so that you can see the uh, forum post.
So I'm a, I'm a professional, guys. Um, you get to enjoy this shitty ass fan art, guys. Are, are you aren't you excited? I'm excited. No, I'm not. I'm lying. All right. I want to make sure everything's working. Pigeon, yes, I'll be uploading it to right. DSP Gaming. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about Atlas. Let's talk about everything going on right now with Persona 5. The massive controversy on the internet. The fact that gamers... Massive controversy. ...in general are up in fucking arms about this game. Because Atlas, the publisher of the game, has decided in all of their wisdom... And, and I like how he says that it's... That this is a issue for the gamers. The gamers, guys. And it's just fucking outstanding. Because it's like... No gamer cares. Like, I'm a gamer. I didn't give a shit about this streaming limitation. By the time, honestly, I, I will get Persona 5 or if I were to stream it, I probably would be moving on. Like, the, the, uh, the uh, streaming limitation would probably be lifted by the, point, by the time I, I do that shit. But... You know, at the same time, honestly, when I get a new game, I don't want to stream it. I want to enjoy it myself. Uh, and then I, I might stream it afterwards. Like, I just played Nier Automata. I might want to stream it now because... Ooh, excuse me. Because I, I streamed it. I mean, I... Uh, because I've played it. I can, I can stream it now because I've played it and I beat it. Ah, uh, if that's what you can call it. To basically tell Western audiences, you know, Western streamers, people who are playing this game in English, basically... All right. All right. Um, to say, you may not play this game past 7-7, which is July 7th, in-game. Now, for those who don't know or aren't familiar with the Persona franchise, basically, it's played by dates. You actually have real dates in the game that advance, okay? And, yeah, it, uh, from, what all, from everything I'm seeing, you know, the game's going to move pretty slowly. At least this introductory part moves pretty slowly. I've already played for six hours. And we're not even past the first, like, week of April, okay? But chances are there will be spans of the game that will move a lot more quickly. <sighs> okay? So, we'll see. <clears throat> we will see what happens. But more than likely what I'm thinking is, you know, if this is the main focus game that I'm playing for the next week... By the way, probably it'll... Are, are you already, like, getting kind of cabin fever? Because he's just kind of repeating himself over and over and over and over. Like, he's really, like, dilly-dallying to the point. By the end of the week, I'm kind of thinking maybe by next week, um, we're going to hit that date of 7-7 um, in-game, okay? Now, I don't know. We'll see. But they're saying, basically, you may not stream, nor may you record and upload videos of the game past that date. Now, this is incredibly stupid. Let's talk about this, and let's be matter-of-fact here. Why this is fucking stupid. This is fucking stupid. Let's be matter-of-fact, guys. This will be a totally fair and reasonable statement, guys. Get ready. Stupid. Number one, the game's been out in Japan for over six fucking months. While in Japan, they had the same kind of streaming policies when it, on day one. But... And everyone who wanted to know the plot already knows it. Everyone already looked it up and or saw a Japanese Let's Play of the game. This is not a game. But why... But why would Persona fans, or anyone for that matter, go out of their way to see, like, story of Persona 5, you know? Like, at most they would just watch gameplay stuff, which you could get any point of the game, whatever. You know, and, and most of, most of, most chances, uh, these people have probably looked at the beginning, mostly for gameplay. Because that'd be more useful than seeing, like, you know, something that's, like, at, you know, the end or something. They're not gonna go straight to the ending of the game to know if they want to buy it or not. But, like... Yeah, no one, no one in the West or anyone who is interested in this game is like, Oh, I, I need to find out the story. I gotta look at the story from start to finish. If I want to buy this game, that no one fucking does that. That is brand new that just released worldwide. So the entire idea 
that we're going to copyright strike slash content ID you if you upload past 7-7 seven, seven in the game. Makes no fucking sense. There's no logic to it at all. Lo no logic. Preventing spoilers. Preventing people from knowing certain plot, point, plot points that they want to keep hidden. That makes no fucking sense. But, and the other thing is that comparing the Western release to the Japanese release is kind of dumb because, again, one came out six months ago, one came out now, like, they had these different policy changes, all that kind of shit. Yeah, spoilers is gonna happen here and there, but, like, who fucking cares? Like, no one who's interested in Persona 5 cares. By the way, let's. Uh, I'm gonna put my little art critique hat on right now and look at this uh, fan art. But I want you to talk about it. All right, so the right hand is doing this, right? Let's the left hand. The thumb's usually up here, right? When, but like you know, in order for it to be down, it has to be like this, right? But if you look at the hand, there's nails. So it's doing this. So, so it's really making no sense. Like, is he doing this? But like, but see, like. <sighs> Weird. It's, it's so fucking weird. Is this a thing? But, like, see, like, when you look at the left hand, it doesn't cover the wrist completely. There's, like, a little gap here. I, I don't know. I mean, I get. Because the guy goes at a slant. The guy goes at a slant because, you know, when you. You, you don't fold like Paper Mario. I don't know. It, it's, it's so. It fucking bothers me. Every time I look at this, it bothers me. There's always that one fan art that has something, some anatomy that bothers me. Like, look at the shoulder! Like, did the whole, like, clav like did this whole thing just, like, disappear and his his shoulder, like, fused to his neck? Oh my, oh my god, that, oh my god, that kind of hurts, but... Look at that, look how bad that is! Oh my god, oh my god, I fucking... Really, it, it, it make no sense. If this was a worldwide release... Look at the nose! It would make sense. It's not! It makes no sense at all. It's completely asinine and just dumbfoundedly dumb fuck stupid. It's the acts of some dumb fucking management of Atlas who has no idea about internet culture, who probably is completely out of touch with everything, who lives in his fucking ivory tower. Ivory tower. I love how he keeps saying ivory tower when it's Google, Nintendo, uh, and now Atlas. They all have ivory towers, guys. But remember uh, that Sony is a Japanese company. So is Konami. And they didn't have these crazy streaming, no uh, like, things, but... Oh, since Alex do it, it's a Japanese thing, I guess. With a silver spoon shoved up his fucking ass, and he doesn't understand Let's Plays, he doesn't understand oh live streams. He doesn't asshole. understand copyright law. He just made a fucking edict that we... I don't want those Westerners, those English-speaking guys and gals making videos of our fucking game. Because it's our IP, and how dare they, and blah, blah, blah. Moron. I've talked about this. I can't, I really, seriously would love to meet these morons. These fu- Like, it's just, it's so fucking dumb that he thinks that Atlas made this decision because they're, they're it's, it's so mind-numbingly dumb. It makes no fucking sense. And rich hoity-toity morons who make these fucking e Hoity-toity. Yeah, because Atlas is a rich fucking company, right, guys? I mean, they're, they're just so fucking rich. They're rolling in the dough, like- yeah, Atlas isn't poor. They're not like indie developer status, but they're not like a fucking triple A fucking company. <laughs> Excuse As me. They're so out of touch with fucking reality. And the bottom line is, if that is the case, they shouldn't be in power at all. They shouldn't because be in power at all. Because obviously they don't know what the fuck they're doing. When every other game company- My money! I need to get my money, dude. If I'm not making money, they're fucking idiots. Me ...on Earth is okay with Let's Plays, and you're the one or two companies who aren't? You're probably the one in the wrong, because you're stupid. I love that argument. If you think that uh, you know, everyone else does this, and, you, and you're the only ones not doing it, and you, and you think you're, and you don't see yourself in the wrong, that's because you're stupid. Or, wait, what did, did you say that? Did you say that? Hold on, let's hear that again. Doing. When every other game company on Earth is okay with Let's Plays, and you're the one or two companies who aren't, you're probably the one in the wrong, because you're stupid. Oh, you're probably in the wrong because you're stupid. <laughs> I love how you said that. I gotta hear that again. Game company on Earth is okay with I Let's Play. Sorry. And you're the one or two companies who aren't? You're probably the one in the wrong because you're stupid. I, I just love how he said that. It's, it's just so weird. 
But, um... No, they're not in the wrong. It's their fucking game that they could do what the fuck they want with it, Phil. They made it. They can do whatever the fuck they want. They didn't have to send... They did not have to release it in the States, probably. They probably didn't have to. They probably could just be like, well... Our Persona fans, they can just import it. Importing is a thing, so they can just import it. We're not going to release it in the West. PS4 is region locked anyway. I mean, it's it's a uh, region unlocked. Like, it's region free. You can uh, import a Japanese game and play it on your PS4 regardless. So they didn't have to fucking release it here, Phil. They could have just said, fuck it and leave it in Japan for the rest, for the end of time. They did not have to release it at all. I, I, I just... Wish Phil realized that, that it's their product. Just because you don't like their practices or what they do with their product, hey, that's your opinion. Too bad. It's their game. They can do what the fuck they want. Okay. By the yeah. way, I like how so how the guy who uh, did this fan art, he, was, he made sure to crop out uh, the hair, like, you know, to cover over uh, DSP's face, but he did not layer it over here. Like, he kind of fucked it up. He kind of fucked up here. And, uh, it looks very shitty. And it's it's just dumb. Dumb. And I will stick to my guns till the end of time. Now, I'm not going to make this pre-stream a, a debate about fair use and all of that. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to make it to a debate because I know that I'm a fucking idiot. But, but we're not going to talk about it because I'm right, you're wrong, guys, okay? I know what the fuck I'm talking about. We're not having a debate because it's a one-way discussion. Fuck you. Like, then why talk about it? Then why did you bring it up if you didn't want to debate about it? You, you, you said so many shitty things in, that, in, in, like, those three minutes. I've already talked till I was blue in the face defending how Let's Plays and gameplay streams are fair use because of a transformative work uh, guideline of copyright law. And I know there are people who argue either way. I'm not going to make this an, uh, the issue of debate today here on the pre-stream at all, all right? But, okay. the bottom line is... You just gotta listen to me and, and, and trust me on this, okay, guys? At Atlas is one of the very few archaic game companies that is doing this stupidity. And again, guess what? They're not doing it for all those Japanese videos. They're only doing... They did when the game was out in Japan. This ban isn't permanent, Phil. Spoiler alert. For English one. So funny how that works. You know, the, the Japanese game developer is being xenophobic. Xenophobic? He, he, there he goes. To Westerners who speak English and saying, well, if you speak English, you can't play our game on a stream or in a video. Fuck you. Seriously. Yes, because that, that's, that's, what, that's how they, uh, you know, phrased it. That's, that's what drove them to do this. Because they hate fucking Westerners. Are you fucking retarded, Phil? And this is the same guy. Get this. When he when people call him a racist, he's like, I'm not a racist. I I you know, I make fun of everyone, you know, it's all good. I'm not, I'm not a racist. Oh, oh, Atlas? They're fucking xenophobic because they said it's policy. Yeah, they said because they don't want to prevent spoilers, but uh, let's read between the lines, guys. They're doing it because they're fucking xenophobic. Okay? Because all it is is prejudice, is what it is. Yeah, it's prejudice. It's xenophobic attitude that's incredibly outdated. This Japanese culture is so xenophobic, it's ridiculous. Japanese culture is so xenophobic. Phil, they did not have to release the fucking game in the West. They could have just left the game in Japan. Would you rather, would you rather have that? Oh my, oh my god. And again, throw, throwing in this, like, fucking... A debate about Japanese culture in a discussion about a fucking video game. Okay. But anyway, that being said, um, I I'm not gonna take any chances. I seriously, unless unless something changes, there's no way that I'm gonna play this game past July 7th because I can't I can't risk having my YouTube channel shut down. I can't risk having my Twitch shut down. It's very simple that this is my business. This is what pays my bills. Okay? This is my business. And uh, I can't. I can't take that kind of crazy ass risk. So I'm willing to play Persona 5. All right. As far as I can to July 7th. 
and then unfortunately i'm just gonna have to stop playing so that could be we run into it within a day it could be we run into it within a week or it could be a freaking <laughs> run into it within a day that that's funny months. i don't know how long it's gonna take to get to that point in the game from what i'm gonna understand um it's supposed to supposedly be like the third major dungeon the end of the third major dungeon or something um i'm not sure okay but we'll see i guess we'll see how it goes all right um and we'll go from there so i will play persona 5 for as long as you're enjoying it and you want us to keep seeing it okay that's the kind of my attitude until um until sadly i have to stop when we hit the july 7th in-game day okay all right now there's other stuff going on, you know? There's other playthroughs I could do. I could go back to Mass Effect. After that, and then we've got Outlast 2 at the end of this. We'll uh, be mixing up everything this month. Once I can't, can't... When every other game I've purchased in the eight plus years that I've been doing this, never had a problem with it. Hmm, kind of funny. Uh, for your business, when every other game I've purchased finally decides to get their fucking head out of their fucking Japanese assholes. Back to the Atlas Salt. And allow people to continue to play the game on stream and in the Let's Play atmosphere, I will do so. It just sucks that I've spent 60 bucks on a game that I'm basically being told you may not use uh, for your business. When, But remember, he likes Persona. He's a huge fan of Persona. He loves Persona, guys. Persona is such a good... Like, I love Persona, guys. Persona is such a good, con such a good franchise. Oh, man, I can't wait... What? I can't make money off it? Wow, dude. Fuck this. I paid $60 for a game and I can't make money. Wow. Well, he shits on other people for, for double dipping or whatever, and then he's complaining when they say, no, you can't double dip in the game. Uh, but usually when I buy a game, I buy it because I like playing video games. I don't really buy a game thinking, huh, I can make money off this. Every other game I've purchased... In the eight plus years that I've been doing this, never had a problem with it. Hmm, kind of funny. I'm pretty sure there were other games because I think there were other games that streaming issue. Oh, Dark Souls Three. Remember that? Oh man, remember that? I remember that. So, yeah, let's see what happens, folks. And here, and by the way, um. I see a few people in the stream chat who are completely wrong. Me again, once I said, I'm not going to make this a, an argument stream for let. Uh, for uh oh, I'm not going to make this into a debate or an argument. But these people are wrong. Let me tell you. Let me say how they're wrong. Use or whatever. But I see a few people saying, "Oh, I can't, I can't play a game and not monetize it." It's not even that. That's not even the issue. The issue is you can't. That is the fucking issue, though, because if you didn't care about monetization, you would, you wouldn't fucking care. Share it at all. It's just sharing. Sharing your gameplay experience, you know. I didn't monetize any of the Zelda videos that went on, on YouTube in the month of March. Yet I kept playing- Because you couldn't monetize them. And you kept complaining about it. You kept whining about it. You did not- You wouldn't shut up about not making money off Zelda. And then you begged your stream chat to, to like, throw you money. Would you do the same here? I'm not sure if it's in this video, but in other videos, I'm sure- I know he talks about- how stream tech, how his stream needs to be profitable for him to continue playing Persona 5. Because he likes Persona, guys. Zelda. Because I, I loved the game and I wanted to share that experience with everyone regardless of the fact I made no money on any of the YouTube videos. I can't even do that. <laughs> I can't even do that with this game because they're going to copyright strike me, apparently. Alright? <clears throat> okay. Okay. So that's the deal with Persona 5. I'll play as far as I can, and then we'll move on to other stuff, and we'll play new releases, and, you know, we'll juggle whatever else we have this month. Although, I, I'll be honest with everyone. I do find it kind of funny that not a lot of people are asking me to continue with Mass Effect. I mean, I thought for sure... The fucking hype died, like, a month ago. Just saying. That the big release in March was actually going to be Mass Effect... In Mass Effect Andromeda is gonna be a big release, dude. Like every press event I've seen with Mass Effect Andromeda over the years. Oh, thunderstorms! Yay! 
every press event that had um uh Mass Effect Andromeda, like I've noticed the hype has been has been dying each fucking time it was showed shown. And it got to the point where like some people were hyped for it, some people were like, eh, you know, I'll get like Mass Effect, you know, maybe I'll like something about the game. And then, you know, the game came out. Andromeda. But I guess the game But has between that and Zelda and Nier, I think Zelda was the bigger release. I think Zelda took took all the took the spotlight for that one. So much negative press. And let's face it, the game has a lot of flaws, bugs and 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 and, and facial you know, animation issues and glitches and just a lot of grindy style gameplay and content. Uh, excuse me. Er so that uh He doesn't even say excuse yeah. me. Wow, what an asshole. That basically um, no one's really asking me to go back to it that much. I mean, not to say there's no one. Because overnight, I ran a poll on, on my Twitter about what should I play. The game that I would have thought would have been the hype. The big game. Everyone wants to see me go back to Mass Effect. Everyone loves my original Mass Effect trilogy playthrough. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. Because he might talk about his bills and shit. We, we all know that song and dance. So our boy, Fred Fox, he got us a video that he did not record. If he recorded, I would have played it, but Phil did not record it. So, this is during day one. I think I should have played this first, but eh, fuck it. Whatever. Uh, let's let's uh, get right into it. By the way, thank you, Fred Fucks, for capturing this. You're dope. Wait, who's this? Fred Fucks? Fred Fucks? Like intro. By the way, I see a few people are saying that apparently Atlas... You know, the game publisher is saying you can only play Persona 5 up to a certain point, and then they don't, I guess they don't want you to stream it anymore. Um, I have no idea what that point is. I've noticed that over the years since he left Machinima, he's been doing nothing but looking on his phone. <laughs> like, his his phone is basically a character in, uh, in his streams now. Like, at that point, he might as well just throw his phone into fan art. <laughs> um... And I'm sure what Dark they'll probably do is expand it. They'll probably give you like a time limit or something by which you can do it. Is what I'm what I'm thinking is they don't want the entire game on the internet within the first day. You know what I mean? Um, I'm only gonna be playing it, you know, at most probably six hours a day. So I doubt that I'm gonna hit that point anytime soon. But I don't know. I haven't read it yet. Here, I guess someone here, the Viking, just put it up here. I'm gonna I'll read it right now, quick. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> here we go. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I should have played this one first. Fuck, I fucked up. I done fucked up. Let's see. Oh, well. This is Limited riveting. Video is to be 90 minutes long. And by th by the way, by the way, the other, the other thing that was funny, because I was watching his day one uh, stream, he barely played the game. He was doing mostly ranting and raving. More than playing the fucking game. What? Take a sip, chew the water. Avoid- oh yes! Avoid spoiling the ending segments of the first three palaces! Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! I'm gonna spoil a bitch! Idiots. Idiots. Don't capture video from major boss fights. Are you retarded? They're so dumb. Are you retarded? Oh, God, the fucking salt. The salt is rising here, guys. They're so dumb. This is, this is riveting. He's just like basically doing this like... I'm trying to read it real quick. Trying to read here. it, guys. I like how he said he was gonna read it for you guys, like, but he's not reading it for them. Re read the fucking article! <laughs> Give us something! Like, dude, that's like if, like, in the beginning of the video when I did the forum posts, it's like if I didn't read it, I'm just like... That, that wouldn't be very fucking riveting now, would it? I don't know who posted this up, there's no name, but it is on the official Atlas website. Um, first of all, it says, don't stream past 7-7. Seven, seven. 
So I guess the game um, starts in what? We're in April? So they're saying don't stream past July. I don't know how long it would take to get three months through the game. That's the thing. I don't know how long that would actually take. Three months. As for them saying, it's so hilarious. Don't do boss fights. Don't do the gameplay. What the fuck? No, it's a fucking let's play. It's protected by fair use. That's complete horse. This isn't a fair use discussion, Phil. It's... No, can you... Well, we just don't want people to see the boss fights in our game. Uh, so, you know, to ensure that it doesn't get streamed because, you know, the honor system means shit on the internet, TBH. Um, they're going to use the system to prevent that because they don't want people to get spoiled. Now, you can argue that it's, a, that it's abusing the system. That's an argument. But Phil, Phil uh, is not that bright. I'm sure some one of his fans is gonna read this and and uh, parrot this art that argument of abusing the system and he'll be yeah it is abusing the system dude. Shit, and I get the feeling there's going to be a lot of backlash against Atlas if they actually try to strike content. I um, there there was no backlash. People were like, oh, okay, it sucks. I mean. Okay, Atlas, f fucking we get it, but uh, but okay, we we won't do it, and then they won't do it because, uh, you know, they like the game and they'll keep playing. Is one thing, all right. Content ID is one thing in particular. Actually, putting copyright strikes against people for legitimate let's plays is going to cause a lot of problems for Atlas. So I really think. Yeah, a lot of problems for Atlas because that company is like the biggest company ever, ever. Everyone knows what Atlas is, guys. Everyone knows what Persona is. I mean, if you ask some random guy down the street, they'll be like, "Oh, Persona! Oh man, I can't wait for Persona 5. Um. I mean, clearly that's what's gonna happen, guys. That was just so big, guys. This is a a, uh, a crisis mode, dude. Everyone, everyone, the news is covering CNN, Fox, MSNBC, uh, Alex Jones. They're all on top of it, guys, because it's it's fucking Alice is big news. Unlike you know these niche companies like Sony, Nintendo, um, EA, Activision. I mean th those those companies, ah, niche Atlas. Huge company. Fucking think that they're gonna seriously do that? They're gonna be in hot fucking water, seriously. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're gonna be in hot, hot water, uh huh. That's like really, really not smart. That's like, that, like, that's the thing. Like, that's why I really don't think reporting Phil to any company is gonna do anything because he's such a small fry. He's tiny, he's a tiny little, like, thing. He's a tiny little entity. He's going to obscurity. Twitch doesn't give a shit about him because no one cares about him. I mean, or not, or that he's not that big compared to, like, other streamers on that site. Like, if a well-known streamer, like, for example, like, PewDiePie. PewDiePie on YouTube, PewDiePie is a big fucking presence. He has a, he has a, he has a fucking presence. He was on fucking South Park. He said some, he said a racial joke, and look what happened. All these news articles, like, oh, we got PewDiePie. Uh, because he's a big entity. People care more about those bi these big entities than some random little channel that that says things like. If if Phil was on the same level of PewDiePie, he would be off of YouTube like years ago if he was that level, but he, he never was. His, his that level was like declining, 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 declining. Like the highest he's ever been was this getting to Machinima. That that's the highest he'll ever be. Because, oh, don't show any boss fights. Oh, okay, I'll just stop capturing. I'll stop streaming. Get the fuck out of here. It's legitimate gameplay. You know what I mean? That the, again, it has nothing to do with copyright law or a legitimate gameplay. They're just saying we don't want people to stream it. We'll use whatever system's in place to prevent it from being spoiled. Complete horseshit. <clears throat> so, no, they're not going to be in hot water. Because they're not that big of a company. I mean, they're not tiny either, but they're not like big enough to. Yeah, it's seven seven in game. It's because remember, Persona goes by days. So right now we're starting in April. So they're basically saying after three months, don't go past it. Um, he's saying the same fucking shit over. Like, 
Fred, did you did you loop the video because he just said that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll, we'll see what see happens. How, how fast does the game progress? You know, um, within the thing is, we all know this game's insanely long, right? So if let's say we get to seven seven or whatever within a week or so, here. judgment call. Do I keep playing it or do I have to oh put it God. on hold until Atlas decides to get the f playing it or do <laughs> that I have was to put a it weird on hold please. until Atlas decides to get the fucking their head out of their ass? Because I, I mean, obviously I can't fuck with getting copyright strikes against DSP Gaming. I can't. I just can't. I can't take a risk of getting copyright strikes against the channel, right? Um, right. So if that ends up being the case, and you know, if if we get to seven seven within say a week or whatever, I might have to do other stuff. Now the good news is next week we got ukulele. I still got Mass Effect. I've got other stuff to I can do. But it surely would really suck if I play Persona Five until. You know, a certain point, and then I can't play it anymore because these assholes, and then we have to wait for them to lift whatever this fucking ban is or whatever. How stupid. How Seriously. stupid. Take a sip, chew the water. Excuse me. I don't know. Well, anyway, at least I gotta, let me blow my nose. Let me blow my nose. Let me blow my nose, and then we'll continue here. We're just fucking sweats and doors, but whatever. I mean,. Usually, if I do a video, I usually try to wear nice pants. I mean, I can understand wearing, like, sweatpants if you're just relaxing, if you're not really doing anything, but, like, he's doing a stream. Fred, you couldn't edit this out? Wow, dude. I mean, come on, man. You had to leave the... the, the oh, no. Blowing of the nose, yes, wow man. Do you do? Ugh. You're killing uh, my business. Yes, my birthday is in two days. I see a few people are asking, when's my birthday? Yes, my birthday is in two days. Wow, birthday. Someone in the stream chat says it might be an April Fool's joke. I wouldn't I wouldn't think that an April Fool's joke on April 4th. Yeah, okay. A game publisher would put up a big post like that with specific references as an April Fool's post. I don't think that's true. So here's what we're gonna do, alright? Here's what we're gonna do, alright? Alright. We're gonna play normally. I'm gonna record normally. Um, I'm hoping I don't get- I mean, at worst, I may get content ID claims for the, the animated cutscenes, I'm thinking. But I'm hoping I don't. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, and we'll play it by ear. No, I'm not going to cut out boss fights. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's a fucking legitimate gameplay of the fucking game. You don't cut out. Oh, cut out the boss fight. Cut out this. Get the fuck out of here. How about this? If you have a game, you don't want anyone to see it. Don't fucking make the game. Don't make games. Go do something else. Again, Atlas did not have to release this game in the West or outside of Japan. They could have just kept it in Japan and said, well, if you want to import it. They could have easily done that. Because the other thing is that why well, might have, there might have been a six month gap is that localization is a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Uh, because you have to like find actors for the voices, you have to look at, at the game, you gotta make sure that there's no offensive things that might be offensive elsewhere, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things that might have to go into local localizing it, uh, some games. Some companies are very are very particular with that. Some games are like, ah, no, let's fuck it, let's keep it because you know people should understand that you know where the game's from, et cetera, et cetera. Go put your head in the fucking toilet and flush, dumbass. This is some fucking dumb executive at Atlas, obviously making dumb decisions. They don't understand that let's plays and streams are advertisement. They don't understand that they're transformative works protected under copyright law, and they basically want to get in trouble here. They want to cause trouble. Or whatever. Yeah, they're fucking troublemakers, those fucking troublemakers. They want to cause trouble, they want to fucking cause trouble. Okay. Okay, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna play it normally. They're saying play till 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know how long it's gonna take us to get to 7-7 seven, seven in the game. Fred, right? again, did you Typically, loop the video? These games run about a year. A year's time. <laughs> so, that's probably, if you, I mean, if we're starting in April, April, May, June, and then July. So you're talking almost four months into the game. Yes, the count. Probably a good, maybe a third into the game right so maybe that could take a while maybe that could take a week for me to get that far i don't know take a sip to the water <clears throat> rock back and forth so i don't know we'll see what happens um and go from there if i have to stop on set when we get to seven seven in game i'll stop and the bottom line is this month 
There's other stuff to do. I could go back to Dongan Rampa. I could do ukulele. We've got Master Effect and Drama. I don't think I could go back to Dongan Rampa. I just said that I uh, I'm gonna put it on hold, but now I can go back to it. <laughs> uh, there's Guardians of the Galaxy. There's Outlast Two later this month. There's other stuff I could play this month. It would just really suck if I could only play the first third of the game because they're being fucking stupid about it. I mean, what other game publisher ever has been like this? I think there was one. I I can't remember. I mean, I know, I know, like, Dark Souls 3 was, was, was <laughs> as well. Killer Croc Myers says he already sees a guy named Kill Scott Kill playing to 11-1 in-game and he's still playing. Well, here's the thing. I don't think, I actually don't think that, like, Atlas would shut down a Twitch stream. But I think what they would do is use that bullshit blanket content ID and copyright shit on YouTube to strike people. That's what I think they would do. Because they would actively have to oh, be God. watching the streams on Twitch to come and say, shut that guy down, shut that guy down. I don't think they'll do that. But I think what they will do is go to YouTube. Oh, but don't worry. I, I'm, I'm sure Twitch is working on a way to do that. The fucking blanket system to claim shit without having to actively look at every single video. Oh, that was a, that was a massive step. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now Vince329 says that Kill Scott Kill got caught and got into trouble. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> A derpy laugh. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at the chat. 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 Well, like By the way, I think this was uh, like after break. I think so. He he delayed the stream for 14 minutes after break. So the break his breaks are usually like 20 minutes. So holding the videos to release them on YouTube after the the life goes over. I don't even know what that means, but uh, Eticus just asked that. I mean, oh, the lift is what he meant to say. He was a typo. I, I mean, like I, how he couldn't think about that. It's like he read it as like, oh, I don't know what that means. Like he obviously meant lift. Like I read uh, DSP's uh, post. He forgot to put T in front of a, of a word. It was the. It said he. I knew what he meant. I was like, huh, he said he. I, I don't know what that means. It's like, oh no, he means the. Because, you know, when you look at the fucking sentence. And the context of the art, of the discussion, all that kind of stuff. You can kind of. I don't know. That's a, that's a nitpick to be Good, used, but the problem you know? is. Then I would have nothing for you to. You know, if let's say I just keep. He just said. He has all these other games. All these other games to play. Well, I could do that. I I just would have nothing for YouTube. Then play Duncan Rampa, play um, Mass Effect for YouTube, and then do like Persona Five, like some other day or whatever. I mean, you love the game, Phil. Oh wait, no, you you don't like money. Persona all month, but if I can't upload the videos, what am I, I'm not putting anything on YouTube. So I'm making no money on YouTube. Oh my god, this guy work. sucks at problem solving. Like. It's it's like an answer is like he just said the answer a few minutes ago and he's just like there I don't know what to do guys I don't know man fucking what you know. it's like if if you go to the refrigerator in your house and you have just bread and you're like I want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and you just have jelly and you don't have peanut butter you're like what are you gonna do and it's like. Well, I don't know how to solve this problem, guys. I have jelly. I know I bought the jelly and, and the peanut butter at the supermarket, but how am I going to get the peanut butter now? It's like, y you just said the answer. Oh. Oh, shout out to Soul Reaper, who just resubscribed. He says, make it the stream exclusive and release the vids after the ID claim. See, that's what I mean, though. I can't just play this game and have nothing for YouTube and have the YouTube channel die because I have no video content for it. <clears throat> and also, remember when he said he doesn't care for about YouTube? Remember that? He was like, oh, well, I'm just gonna have Twitch be the primary source and YouTube be the supplemental thing. You know, it'd be like, I don't care about YouTube that much. Fuck it. Twitch is the, is the savior. And now it's like, you're telling me? I can't upload stuff on YouTube. I need YouTube, dude. I need fucking YouTube. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Twitch employees themselves were on Twitter calling this practice fucking stupid. I don't think Twitch is going to enforce it. That's from Amplified. Uh, Twitch would be in trouble then because Twitch is a big co website and they're not listen and they're not abiding by something that, you know, uh, whatever. It's so dumb. Here's here's my honest reasoning about it. I think it's dumb, and here's why I think it's dumb. Atlas is afraid because people are playing and streaming their game that it's going to spoil the game and people aren't going to buy it. Wrong. You want to know what makes people not buy a game? Two things. Number one, when people get advanced Two copies things. of games before anyone's seen or played it and say a game is shit, because then they don't care, then they won't buy it, they won't watch a stream. They but he wants early copies, though. Do anything. It's, it basically kills the promotion of the game. Or when a company acts like a bunch of fucking censorship dickheads like Atlas. Censorship? Yeah, I don't think anyone is sitting there is like, oh my god, they they are not allowing people to stream past this date. Well, that's censorship. No, it's it's not. No one no one cares, Phil. Doing right now that turns people off. That will literally make people say, well, if they're gonna be like that, I don't want to fucking play their game. No. I mean, I'm just saying. It's obvious. It's an it's an executive atlas who doesn't understand Let's Play culture, who doesn't understand live streaming, who doesn't Let's understand culture. the cultural transformation that's happened in the past 8 to 10 years, that this is why certain games have become insanely popular because of this. This right here, the streaming, videos, actually helps, doesn't hurt. But they don't get that. It, it does hurt because, like, we're gonna go back, even before, like, Let's Plays were a big thing. I remember when I was hyped for MGS4, I was like really hyped. I was like, oh man, I can't fucking wait. And like a week before the game came out, someone posted Big Boss and Zero. And I was like, are you, what? So when I played it, I got to the end and it was like, oh, Big Boss is here. Okay, cool. Like, so, and that was just, I ran a picture. Imagine if someone uploaded a video of like the of the final cutscene of MGS4 and then like and I watched that by accident by, by some like fucking trolling move. That would fucking suck. Now the complete polar opposite here is that I actually um, am playing Danganronpa and NIS America contacted me and actually thanked me for doing the playthrough and said that, you know, even though it's a narrative based game. Remember this too. I I'll I'll talk about it so soon after he says this because there's a contradiction. Yeah, you know, they like that it's basically free promotion and they, they, they appreciated that I, I'm doing that. I, 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 <clears throat> but they said that, he, he said this in a pre-stream, I wish I, I remembered it, but someone I'm sure is going to remember, know what I'm talking about. He talked about uh, NIS or whatever, contacting about Danganronpa, and he's like, oh, we'll give you a free copy of the, of the new one that's coming out this year. Uh, and I think it might have been even an early copy or whatever. And he's like, oh, wow, well, cool, dude. But they're like, yeah, but you won't be able to stream it or record it because you don't want spoilers. And he's like, well, that sucks. Now it's like, well, see, they don't have these censorship problems, guys. They don't, they, they are like super cool and they understand, uh, uh, pr uh promotion guys because they, I was, I played an old game that wasn't new and they were like, wow, this is cool. A guy is promoting our work. See, they get free promotion. Even though they did ask me to not upload the new game if they give it to me uh, at all. All right. Pretty stupid. It's fucking all right. Well, anyway, I think we've got a while. I mean, to get to seven seven in game, which is what July seventh in game, we're probably gonna have a while. Maybe we'll have a week. Maybe I can play this game for a week before we even have to worry about that. Okay. Okay. Um, worst case scenario, if I have to put this on hold, I will. That's this whole situation sucks, but we'll see what happens. Let's play it by ear, okay? And obviously, as I'm uploading these videos to YouTube, I'll let you know if I get content ID claims and stuff. Oh, shout out to Retro, who did a 235-bit cheer. He said that uh, he's a preacher brother, but he is the cheerleader for today on stream. FYI, everyone, 
I, I, since there's more people on stream now than there were cheer earlier, earlier, I want to reiterate. If you subscribe to the channel, if you cheer, or if you tip me during this playthrough, you will see on-screen notifications. Oh my However, god. However, to avoid people trying to spoil Dude, the game. Dude, he saw, like, because I think he had, like, 500 views at the time. And he was like, 500 views. I, I could get money. I could get money. I limited it. That you have to do a 500 bit cheer or a five dollar tip in order to get your message on screen because i didn't want people coming in with 50 cent cheers dollar you know well he did that because he didn't want people to spoil. wow phil is so so shitty he he censored he censorship he censored his bits now people have to pay five dollars to get their tip wow this is elitist thinking and this is just saying fuck you to everyone who can't afford five dollars Wow, what a fucking asshole, guys. I mean, I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe this fucking guy is saying that there's, that he do, that he's doing it. it. It removes the fun of tipping and cheering. Wow. This guy, this guy is so unaware of internet culture. He's so, uh, xenophobic of everyone and class, uh, he's class phobic. He's afraid of people who have one dollar that want to give it to him to get their message on screen. He's afraid of them. So he, he raised it because he didn't want to get spoiled by those one dollar uh, tippers. Wow. Phil, DSP is so fucking... He's the worst. He lives his ivory little tower. And he's, he just doesn't know. He doesn't get the culture, guys. I mean, this is... This is life. Just toss me a dollar to spool the game for everyone. And I know that would basically make a, 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 a roadblock for that happening. Okay? Well, making roadblocks? Wow, dude. <clears throat> So fucking censorship. Eddie says he watched someone play for nine hours. They only got to April twenty sixth. That's what I mean. Like I could play this game for two weeks and never make it to July. That's how these Persona games are. Who knows? Sniff, sniff. All right, let's continue now. At least I want to say this. Thanks for bringing it up, everyone, because it, it obviously is something that needs to be talked about. And I'll everyone, well, it was only Viking that brought it up. I needed to know about it. I figured, honestly, with Atlas, I figured this, and here's why I say that. <laughs> I figured this. I, I figured it out, guys. I had a feeling, but uh, I did not know about it, but I had a feeling. No, you didn't. Shut up. You might not realize this. Years ago, before I ever played a Persona RPG, I was playing Persona 4 Arena, uh, which is a fighting game starring the Persona characters. And Atlas fucking gave me a copyright strike, not a claim, a copyright strike for playing the tutorial of wow, the fighting Wow, Jackie game. Chin worked for Atlas at the time, guys. He fucking got him. They are fucking retarded. They're idiots. Fucking retarded. I didn't spoil the plot. It was the tutorial of the fucking fighting game. They gave me a copyright strike. They are asinine idiots. Like, how dumb can you be? So it just shows how out of touch they are, and apparently, here we are, what, five years later? They're still not in touch with fucking with the, the, the modern era. They're dumbasses. Whatever. Alright. So there's a guy who named his fucking character Weeb. Alright, Fred got us another hot part, a hot rant. Uh, this one's only seven minutes long. Let's get through this, guys. I know we can do it. Wait, who's this? Fred Futz? Fred Fox? But well, before I resume, the reason I went to the dashboard here is so I could talk with you guys and gals here for a bit, all right? Guys wanna, and gals. I want to kind of be matter of fact with everyone, and I want to be honest and upfront with everyone about this, okay? <laughs> you just see his head up there. It's like, it's kind of like, hey guys, what's up? Do you like my head? Um, oh, hold on. I got the Persona artwork here going. There you go. I want to talk to you a little bit, all right? Uh, here's the deal, folks. Here's the deal. <laughs> here is the deal. The deal. Um, I like Persona. The art of the deal. I want deal. to play Persona 5, all right? Um, he likes it, but he needs things that money. are happening right now that I'm afraid of. Number one, Atlas already has pretty much laid down the law and said you cannot play this game past the July 7th in-game date. Right now, we're in April in the introduction, and I get the feeling that to even get to the July 7th in-game date may take us a while, maybe several streams to a week, if not longer than that. Um, so at least in that regard, immediately, this is not a big concern, all right? Um, it's not a concern. The other thing I'm worried about, honestly, now that I've read <clears throat> this article, look at his eyes, like, honestly, like <clears throat> from he looks, Atlas, he looks like okay, a fucking deer cut headlights. The fact that, um, the fact that they're basically saying a lot of stuff here, um, 
He just read this regarding oh no spoilers don't show ball and and this is uh it, this was the same day he he said this too the same day fight don't show cutscenes don't show this don't show that I mean this is fucking stupid all right it's asinine it's it's archaic it's stupid it's an absolutely terrible way to operate a business in 2017 yeah. the fact that atlas doesn't understand okay. internet culture of streaming and they, they sold like over like what one million copies of persona 5 yeah they, they, they really are failing at as a business says the guy who uh who uh got out of his machinima uh contract now struggling to pay his taxes now he has to sell his car uh, begging for money every day on Twitch. I mean, yeah, he's 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 running a better business than Atlas at this point, guys. Days just proves that their management is completely out of touch with their actual customer base, and basically they're a bunch of fucking old farts who don't know what the fuck they're doing. That's just the bottom line. Old farts. There's no way that you could not understand streaming and YouTube playthroughs in 2017. Like Phil, he doesn't get. He doesn't get. Streaming because he raised the bit level to five hundred and tips the five to five dollars. He raised it to prevent spoilers. He doesn't get the fun of of the streamer interacting with his chat by having the bits be one dollar to one hundred bits. I mean, he just doesn't get. He's out of touch. He's an old fart, and he doesn't know what he's doing. Unless you have your head up your ass, or you've lived in a cave for the past ten fucking years. Oh, says the guy who's <clears throat> in the gated community. So I don't like what I'm hearing. That okay? never leaves I his don't. house. And I'm nervous. I'm gonna be out very honest here with everyone. Okay. I'm nervous. Uh, I'm gonna be nervous. That pay my taxes. <clears throat> I'm gonna be very nervous that I'm gonna upload these videos right now today, because right after this stream, I'm uploading these videos to my YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. And they're all going to get content ID flagged. And there's a chance they might. They might oh, all no. get content ID flagged. And therefore, I make no ad revenue on the videos on YouTube whatsoever. All right? Now, here's the deal. Like, these other playthroughs. <clears throat> Uh-oh. And by the way, I see some people resubscribing and cheering. Don't worry. I'm going to give you your shout-outs in a moment. But I want to get this... I want to talk about this first before I, I do that. All right? I want to play this game. But I cannot play this game on YouTube. All right? as a playthrough if i'm going to make no money i'm operating even though i'm having fun and i love doing this as a job it's yeah still you a can't job. play the other I have games to pay my bills okay and it would be one thing if you know this were just a back burner playthrough that i was going to do a couple hours a day or a couple times a week but persona 5 was going to be the main focus of this entire week it was going to be the focus of the next couple of weeks until new releases like ukulele and other stuff started coming out this month <clears throat> so, what I'm nervous here is that, okay, I, I'm, I start playing the game, and then I upload the videos, and they all get claimed. Just like I just did a playthrough in March, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Claims! Claims, guys! I mean, it's not like I said that Twitch was going to be the primary source of my income, and that Patreon, and all that. No, no, guys, YouTube matters now, even though I said it doesn't matter, but it matters. Well where I literally made no money on that playthrough on YouTube because the moment those videos went live on YouTube, Nintendo claimed them all and claimed all the ad revenue. Now, here's the thing. The reason I kept playing Zelda Breath of the Wild is because daily people showed up for the streams and they cheered and they subbed and they tipped. And between that, all right, because so many people showed up and participated in those streams... I was able to do the full playthrough of the game, and it ended up being enough that I made money doing it, and I could keep the business in operation, okay? If we could do that with Persona 5... Give me money, dummy! ...and enough people are showing up, and, and cheering, and tipping, and subbing, great. Then, regardless of the fact that if I get ad Ooh, revenue or not on the videos, I could keep playing the game. But... If I see that people, you know, aren't gonna come out and do that, then I can't. It's just that it's being very matter-of-fact, alright? <clears throat> But he likes Persona, guys. He loves that game. He, lo he loves Persona 5. He likes it so much that he just won't play it if he can't make money off it. Period. Period. He can't play Mass Effect Andromeda for YouTube uh, or and Twitch or whatever and play Persona 5 in the downtime, like, you know, at night or whatever, so that he has videos in the future. He can't do that, even though he said that he likes to backlog. Oh, my God. This guy really... Wow. So, I'm just saying this up front. I don't know what's going to happen here when I upload these videos. I'm hoping I don't get copyright strikes. 
on YouTube today. I could, and that would be terrible. I hope I don't. At the, wor at the worst, I hope it's just Content ID Match, where they claim all the ad revenue for the video. Because they give me copyright strikes, I'm going to go fucking ape shit. Okay? And they don't want me losing my shit. Yeah, guys. Atlas, better watch out. DSP's coming for you if you if you fucking get him. Look, I mean, look at look at him. He he he's a force to be reckoned with. With uh, uh, you know, his slightly ovaler face. His face looks more like an uh, of an, a doughy oval. Um, he has he has a, a very great back. His back is perfect. It's tremendous. And uh, his gout. Oh man, you don't want to mess with his gout. The gout will will get you. So we'll see what happens. Take a sip, chew the but water. the point is, I want to play the game, but I have to do something that realistically is viable for me to pay my bills. And if I can make zero money on this playthrough, I can't keep playing it. So, can't keep playing as it. long as you guys and gals show up, you're participating in the streams, great. That Then I'll keep playing it regardless of the fact, and if I have to stop playing it at July 7th in-game or whatever, I will temporarily, until by whatever fucking time they decide to get their heads out of their asses and lift the fucking ban, then I'll thunder. come back and continue the playthrough. Like thunder, right? The bottom line is, like I said, I've still got Mass Effect Andromeda, I've still got game? Ukulele, we've got Guardians of the Galaxy, we got Outlast yeah, 2, know. and I got a playthrough of Danganronpa that I put on hold to play Persona 5. So I've got more than enough to do this month without Persona 5. The bottom line is... The but, see, he can't figure out that he can play those games for YouTube and then just play Persona 5 for Twitch or, or whatever. He, he, he just can't figure that out. I know everyone wants to see it and I want to play it. <clears throat> you don't sound like you want to play it, Phil. You're, you're all right, making so all these... You're, you sound like you want to drop it. Let's see how, how, how participation goes. I mean, I'll be honest here. Let's participation. take a look. Participation. Let's see here. I want to say thank you because Accio Artorius actually did a 25-bit cheer during the break. And he yeah. said that the types are physical, gun, fire, ice, electric, wind, psychic, nuclear, bless, curse, almighty, ailment, healing, support, passive, and outside. Jesus Christ, that is way more classes or ty attack types God, than there was in chill. 3 and 4. So, holy shit, I'm going to have to learn a lot. Um, and I do want to say... Uh, thanks to Bent Boxer, who resubscribed to the channel. He says, for relaxing times, make it DSP time. <laughs> and also, thank you to Jay, La uh, Jay Lawler, who just did a 75-bit cheer. All right? Jay Lawler. Um, but the bottom line is, looking, take a look at, at so far today, we, not a lot. We haven't had a lot of cheer. Not a lot, guys. You, you fucking fucked up. You need to give me more bits. I... What do you want me to do? I'm playing fucking video games for you, and you're not giving me my bits. I need my bits. We haven't had a lot of tips. We've had six new subs. So that's decent, but it's been pretty slow. Um, if this yeah, it's not me. It's you guys. Okay, it's this very slow. You make no ad revenue on these videos. I don't know if I can continue with this play. Oh my unless, god! Unless again, we can make it viable via the streaming. People came out for Zelda. They participated on the Zelda streams. That was awesome. If that uh, could happen with Persona, I'll keep doing it. But let's see what happens. Let's play it by ear. Oh my I don't know. Maybe, God. I won't. Maybe all this is just me being a worry wart, and I'll upload the videos to YouTube, and there'll be no problems at all. I don't know. Oh but I'm just being, my God. Fact, Shut up. Front. I can't. I can't play this game as an extended playthrough this month if I can't make... I, it's like operating a business, but I'm not going to accept payment, you know? If I had a restaurant, I couldn't just... Not but at least those restaurants don't fucking go up to every table like, guys, uh, we need, we, please tip us. We need tips. G give me tips, please, guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep waiting for you if, if you guys don't tip me. Tip me now. Like, they don't fucking do that. Accept payment for two weeks. Like, I, I, I feel sorry because the thing is that, like, if, like, I feel that a lot of waiters have this issue where if they, because they know that if they ask for a tip or beg for a tip, the customer might not tip them for it. But in DSP's little restaurant here on Twitch, everyone will tip when he asks for it. Like, that's, like, fucking, uh, he's so, it's, it's so fucking pathetic. And, and I feel sorry for his fans because, like, look, if you're a fan and you want it and you're, you're doing these, these bits and cheers and Patreon just for the sake of it, that's fine. I'm not saying that that it that you can't do that or that it said that you are. I just think it's sad for those who do tip out of guilt or pity. Those are the people I feel sorry for. 
I don't know who they are because it's 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 really hard to know who's tipping or cheering for those reasons. But I do feel sorry for those people who are doing it for these reasons. Uh, it could be one person, it could be ten people. Who knows how many people who are doing it because he's crying about it. Uh, it's just, give him money because you want to support him. Do that. Don't give him money because he's crying about money. Don't do it for that. That's a not That's not a good reason. Uh, it's a reason, but it's not a good one. Eating. Gotta pay my bills, okay? But that's just my opinion, at least. I mean, you can... All right, so now let's will. get back to the game. <clears throat> All right. Now, our boy, his stream chat name is Full Hands. His YouTube name is Mr. Huth Stuff. He captured this. These two lovely, these next two lovely pre-streams. Uh, this one, I think, it's a little bit more about. Oh no, no, it's, it's just a more Atlas Salt. So. I think the last one is going to be a little bit more, so we'll, we'll, we'll watch this, see where this leads. For those of you in particular who maybe weren't here for the first stream today and you're not aware of what's going on, uh, Atlas is basically being a bunch of fucking moronic dicks. They are telling everyone, number one, that they don't want people playing this game past uh, July 7th in-game. The game starts in April. So I have no idea how long it's going to take us to actually get to July 7th. I've actually heard it's usually around the, th the end of the third dungeon. We haven't even gotten to the first dungeon yet. Okay. Um, so uh, is it a concern for something immediately? Not really. In fact, the, the, fa the fact that I'm sure this game is incredibly long, it'll have tons of side content, it'll have tons of stuff to do. <clears throat> I'm sure that uh, it's going to take us quite a while to even get to that point. All right. But it's a concern. What if I'm loving the game? What if you guys are loving the game? We're having a fun week playing Persona 5, and the next thing you know, we hit uh, the 7th of July in the game, and now I can't play it anymore. That's a bunch of bullshit. Okay? Bunch of bullshit. Um, so we'll have to see. We'll have to see how stuff goes. Um, in addition to that, I did upload the first four hours of gameplay already to my DSP Gaming channel earlier. Um, and so far, so good. I mean, at least when I say um, that, I mean, I didn't get any auto claims. All right, auto claims, nothing at all. Okay, um, at least in this regard, that didn't happen. So hopefully, those who, if you weren't here for earlier, you're sh sh well. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's hopefully that maybe nothing will happen. Maybe I'll get no claims, no issues. I mean, worst case scenario, what I'm worried of here is that uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of content ID claims that either lead to muting or blocking of the videos. That's the worst situation. Auto playthroughs right now. A bunch of those videos have been blocked, and therefore Blacked. the playthroughs are pretty much. And that really sucks. Okay. Mm. So I guess we'll see what happens. P fingers crossed, and everything. All right. So here's the deal. Tonight, another two hours. I'm going to start in just a couple minutes here. I'll, you know, I'll give a couple minutes. Couple minutes here. If I can't make any money on the damned playthrough, it's going to become another Zelda situation. All right. If that, mean, if that happens, what that means is that I'm going to have to uh, basically try to rely on making enough money live streaming the game to continue playing it. Which means, which is exactly what happened with Zelda. You know, during Zelda, people came out and really cheered and subbed and you left tips and stuff. And it ended up making it profitable to keep playing that game regardless of the fact that I was making zero okay, on the YouTube. You know what? We, we get this. We're going to move on to the next... Well, I'm gonna give it videos. I made no money. One Nothing more happens. chance. I mean, I, I hopefully things work out. But if you support me, if you want to see me keep playing this game, the, the that uh, I need to keep paying my bills. Okay. Pay There's plenty bills. of other games I could play right now. Right now, I was I was in the midst of a Dongan Rampa playthrough, and I'm also playing Mass Effect Andromeda. I can I guess for you guys. So <clears throat> it certainly wouldn't behoove me to focus on a game I I make no money on, and then I go out of business, and then I never make another video. That wouldn't uh, help you, and that wouldn't help me. <laughs> uh -huh. Shout out to Jay Lawler. These people could find another YouTuber to watch. Actually, who just did a 15-bit cheer. Um, FYI, everyone, I did adjust some stuff. Um, annoying, not the game. At least we could enjoy the game as I play it, right? <sighs> All right. One other thing, everyone, I actually lowered. I re I rethought what I did earlier today. Earlier, earlier today, I said what I, what I get the mention here on, on the stream. I changed it a little bit. Sorry, everyone. I misclicked and I banned like three people. 
Thanks an old I misclicked there completely by accident. I was just trying to move the stream chat. Oh my the air. God. Tomorrow night, I may do more Persona 5 if people want it. Mix it up a little bit. I'd be okay with that too. Um, and then I might even leave it in, into your hand, your hand. I'll leave that as the pin pull. I'll say, you know, Persona's the amount of work that he put into doing this. Okay, so thanks to Dr. I don't know how, really how it works. I apologize, dude. Dr. Z says, uh, that sounded like two lines of Coke. No, you see, I'm, I'm poor, so that was two lines of baking soda. <laughs> okay, okay. With the cam the webcam for this freaking playthrough, man. Leave below the note. Oh, shit. Now I fucked something else up. Hold on. What happened? Try the girls. <laughs> Uh, scoot up a little. I'll go up. I could go up a tiny bit here. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing here. I thought there was. I thought there was. I. I apologize. We wasted. I wasted your time. I'm sorry. I might edit this out because there was nothing here. It's not full hands fault. I should have been more. Uh. Uh. It's. It's my fault. It's my bad. It's my bad, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize for that. Let's. Let's watch this. This is uh 23 minutes of of nonsense. So talk about here on pre-stream all right first of all well i'm not recording this for youtube by the way this is just me gabbing with you guys until enough people join i know that people are joining right now that's why i'm kind of gabbing a little bit um gabbing so so yeah um um now i lost track of what i was gonna say oh that's right uh sadly i am seeing more and more people who, who did youtube full-time coming out every day saying that they can't do it anymore this is lame. This is really sad and pathetic. It's 100% Google and YouTube's fault. Oh my god. Like, okay, I want to talk about this because, he, because the fan sent him a video about this girl who, uh... uh hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find it, okay, guys? Uh... But this girl was talking about... Actually, I don't know if I got I'm not gonna fucking find it. I lied. Um, this woman, this girl, whatever, talk, was talking about how... She was like a programmer, and she's finding it harder and harder to stay on YouTube, and all this stuff. And and to be fair, I, I was thinking of doing a video about her, but at the same time I was watching it, and it was like, it wasn't that bad. Like, she didn't say anything that was, uh, she didn't make it about herself, she said in general, like, hey, if you have other uh, YouTubers you want to support, go support them as well, and all that kind of stuff. So, like, at least she wasn't, like, saying, like, it's, it's a big deal for me, like, she... Like she was a little bit more fair about it. She she didn't go DSP on it, okay. So I, I I just didn't think that she deserved to doing a video. I was thinking about doing it just to show you guys the video, but ultimately now that I think about it, I don't think it's worth it. But she was saying how, uh, you know, YouTube's ad revenue's been pulling out, it's been dropping, all this kind of stuff. But to me, it was bound to happen because again, if you have a, a platform like YouTube, uh. Eventually, advertisers would pull out if they start seeing that it, there's content that they don't want their brand associated with. It, it was just, it was just, it's just a risk, and as as well, I think it's also that YouTube might just be like, "Look, we are we you know we like you know doing the, doing this stuff for people that they can like get paid for for their work, but at the same time, they're probably more they're probably also well aware that people are exploiting that system. Like a lot of people are getting paid." for the minimal amount of work. So they probably want to make YouTube not a profession for people anymore. Uh, and, and Because again, like if you look at how people survive, the channels that are surviving the most are the ones that understand that YouTube was never stable. Like a lot of YouTubers, a lot of video creators, like uh, Angry Video Game Nerd, uh, I think even Nostalgia Critic to, to a degree, but he doesn't really upload videos on YouTube directly. Um, yeah, the Angry Video Game Nerd, Mega64, uh, I know, you guys are groaning already. Hot Diggity Demon, uh, Ego Raptor to a degree, because he's, he, they started doing albums and all that, but when you look at these other YouTubers, they have other means to make money, and they're still around, and they're still making a lot of money, and they don't really talk a lot about their finances. I don't know about... Um, uh, Game Grumps or Ego Raptor, but I know like you know Hot Diggity Demon doesn't come out and say like oh, I need money guys give me money like he doesn't say that Mega Sixty Four doesn't bring up their bills or their taxes or anything like that because again like 
YouTube isn't a profession, and I and I, I kind of want to do a video about this on my main channel, uh, because I just find it funny. When YouTube started, it was a great platform. A lot of people loved uploading videos for the for the sake of it. People loved doing it. You know, there's a lot of people, a lot of genuine people making videos. The moment that, and then YouTube had this idea, like, hey, you know, we should have this, this program where people can apply and they can get paid for making videos for us because, you know, it benefits, I know them, and uh, it benefits them to make, to make more videos. And then it will keep our site thriving and, you know, in turn, we might get money out of it as well. And it was this great idea. But over the years, you start like you start to notice that YouTube changed a lot of their stuff to benefit money, to benefit themselves, or to benefit advertisers, and it it and and then you start seeing these people who go onto YouTube who just want to make money, and they don't care about the viewer. They they say they do, but they really don't. And then DSP is honestly one of those people uh, because it's just. If you if YouTube doesn't ha didn't have that monetize feature, I don't think DSP would be here. And the thing is that YouTube is never a a site for money. It's not a site where you can go and make money. It's just the reason why YouTube became a popular website is because it was a place for for people to share videos. It was it was it was way before. People were making money, and that's why when you see channels that were never about money, they're lasting pretty fucking long. Like they last a long ass time because they have a more dedicated fan fan community fan base that would want them to see them succeed. Like if you look at before you fucking groan, it's an example. Sit, calm down. Uh, Mega sixty four. They had this fan base that they that they. Uh, formed before YouTube started being a mon started having this monetization. They had this fostering subscription numbers, fostering people who who like their content. And look at them now. They, these people are still supporting them. They're buying merch. They're you know whatever. They're not begging for money because because they have a de a devoted fan base. And when you see these people who did it for money and they start seeing these hits, you start to see that they were never there for the for for you to, to begin with. That, that's just my opinion. Like, you, like I like H3H3. H3. Uh, you know, I like their videos, but, you know, a lot of their videos is just them talking about how little money they make. Like, yeah, that sucks, but it's not our, it's not our fucking fault. It's not our responsibility. If we wanted to support you, the people who want to support you are already supporting them by some, in some way. But, whatever, I mean... H3H3 isn't as bad as DSP levels of like begging, but it's just it's it's just kind of ridiculous how people are now complaining about money on YouTube when YouTube really wasn't about money to begin with, and I I, I just find it fucking silly and a little annoying because I I love I love YouTube I love watching videos, but. When I see people who who make videos for money and they start complaining about money, I get fucking annoyed by that because I do videos for free. I work on videos on my main channel. I work videos on here, and I'm not sitting here saying, "Guys, I need you guys to fucking donate to my Patreon. I need you to do, to ask for commissions every day because I need money. I, I I need it. Like, no, it's not your fucking fault. I should get a people should get jobs." YouTube is more of a hobby thing, and that's what it's always been from the beginning. Just because it had a program to make money, like, let's, let's listen to the rest of this. It's, it's so fucking annoying. I'm sorry if this kind of becomes a little rant about it, but it's just, I, I just wish people would just shut the fuck up about it. Make videos that they want to make. Like, I get it, I get it. It's, it's a deal, it's an issue for you, because you left, you decided to quit your job, which, I don't know how you thought that was a good fucking idea, decided to go with YouTube because, oh, it's a fucking stable job, right? It's fucking YouTube. The site could go away tomorrow. Are you gonna, what are you gonna do then? Because of an issue that I spoke about for years, I said for years. You cannot have a website like YouTube completely automated. You just cannot. It will not work. Because the bottom line is YouTube runs off of ad revenue. 
That's how YouTube is profitable. Ad revenue, not subscription revenue, not anything like that. Ad revenue, meaning advertisements placed on free YouTube to YouTube Red is a subscription service. Videos, right? Same. Oh, shout out to Nuka Cola King who just gave me a 50 bit cheer. He said, Here's some birthday bits. Appreciate that, Nuka Cola. Birthday bits! So, you are, by the way, you are the uh, cheerleader for the evening, beginning the evening here. You are the top cheer, of course. Um, so, the deal is that basically everything on YouTube is automated. The copyright system was automated, the content ID system is automated, and the advertisement system is automated. And when you have full automation and no actual guidelines per anything, what happens is things go awry. And what happened on YouTube is all these advertisements that have been divvied out were being divvied out to people who were making racist videos, people who were making um, uh, sexist videos, people who were making terrorism videos. The video is about, you know, radical Islam and terrorism and killing people and all kinds of crazy shit that you would not want to have any kind of advertisement on. Here we go. Duh! If you were any paying advertiser, would you ever want that kind of content on a video? But the thing is that YouTube has a lot of fucking videos. So, Phil, you're, you're asking a company to monitor thousands upon millions of videos that get uploaded every second. Phil, if they, if they employed people to do that, they would not exist anymore. Of course not. You don't want your business represented on that kind of video. Who would? That's ri ridiculous, right? Oh, shout out to Douth Vidar Viking who just gave me a 99-bit cheer. Thank you. Uh, so. So. What happened was, uh, basically, big advertisers finally got wind of the fact that the, the system to put ads on YouTube videos is completely randomized. There's no rhyme or fucking reason to it. It just puts videos on, or excuse me, it puts ads on videos without actually checking the content of the video. At all. It just doesn't do it. It's true, 100%. It doesn't check the content of a video. It will just give you an advertisement. Because they don't have enough humans to review all the videos. Because basically, YouTube is the wild west of the internet. They think they can have an open season. Uh, I like how, just... like, in, in other videos, he said, Oh, well, it used to be the wild west on YouTube. Now it's... And now it's not anymore, but now it's the wild west again. What? <laughs> Uploading whatever they want. And that it's gonna, it's gonna fly with advertisers. Well, it's not. And I knew this, I've been saying this for years. You cannot have automated systems for things like copyright and things like content ID and things like advertisements. That it doesn't work. But, you know, the big wigs at Google think they're smarter than everyone else. Because they're Ivy League educated, even though it probably means they're dumber than everyone else. Yeah, they're dumber for, for uh, going to a hard school to get into. That's, you know, hard to get in, I guess. Uh, they work on coding, which is also hard. Have a successful business, but yeah, they're they're fucking dumb. Okay. Um. Oh, shout out to. It. And I like how we said earlier that ha a reason why they can't, uh, uh, like they can't get people to watch all these videos. Then it says they should be able to do that because they're fucking dumb. Like, okay. Yeah, forever. Who just gave me a hundred bit cheer? Another birthday cheery set. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, the deal here is that big. Adver or big advertisers saw what was going on with YouTube. Basically, you got to think of a few things, a few factors, right? Perfect storm. You have YouTubers like PewDiePie who basically get uh, considered racist, right? Paying people. He was talking about PewDiePie, how, like, uh, he said some racist stuff, like, this and that, and you don't really need to get into that, but that's what he was saying because he kind of cut off uh, because DSP's business internet's really good, guys. You hold up signs that says something like, Death to all Jews. Gee, I wonder why an advertiser wouldn't want their ad on that video. Hmm. Oh, DSP won uh, Wall Street Journal on, on PewDiePie. That's cool. Uh, again, it's the context of that it was a joke. I, I personally think the reason why a lot of people are not happy with it is because it, it is, in a way, offensive because it's, it's saying something anti-Semitic, but... Even in the context of a joke, I just think that it's not funny. Like, I think these edgy humor kind of ran its course, and now it's like... To come up with something better. Like, it's just kind of lazy, in my opinion. I, I, I do think that, uh, that these, like, edgy jokes are the laziest kind of joke. I don't know, that's just, my, that's just my opinion. I mean, I'm sure someone's gonna disagree with me on that, but whatever. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, right? 
And not to say that I'm innocent either. You know, years ago, I was stupid, and I made a, videos, a, a stupid video like that for Blip TV. So I'm certainly not saying that I'm above it. I'm not better than that. But we all make mistakes. But, I mean, you have to think. An automated website, let's put... How many, how many ads went on that video, right? How many ads went on that freaking video? Mm. Pretty ridiculous. Um... And then you have, again, these terrorist videos or whatever getting ads. So basically, Walmart, Starbucks, uh, you know, giant advertisers who were putting tons of money into YouTube have pulled out and said, we're not going to do use you anymore. Because number one, we don't want our, our, our advertisements on that stuff. But if you really want to know the truth of the matter, and I know this from a business perspective, because I've said this for years again, I've said this in videos for years. Is this? I guarantee you that the advertisers who are sinking tons of money into YouTube advertisement are not seeing any kind of return for their investment. Because when you have the biggest YouTubers are people like PewDiePie. Think about this. People yes. like PewDiePie, who his entire video is- They're not seeing any returns, dude. Stupid, cringy shit. He got famous on YouTube for screaming like a little mini girl and acting like a little sissy. So little- I, I, I don't really know PewDiePie that much. I just know I don't, I just didn't, I couldn't stand him, but I don't think that's why, I don't know. Kids watch his videos and laugh at him, and he gets millions of views because of it. Those kids aren't fucking buying products. When they see that... Kids aren't buying products, so kids don't run up to mom and dad and be like, Mom, dad, I love... Buy me this! And then they go buy it. Why do you think a lot of advertisers target kids the most? Phil. Phil. Kids have these things, these people, people in their lives called uh, parents that drive, they have a job. So advertisers target these kids to tell them, oh, you need to get this, you need to get this product. And then the kid runs up, runs up the stairs, you know, or runs to their, to their parent and says, mom, dad, can, uh, can you buy me uh, this toy? Because uh, the commercial says it's really good and it's the best. Can you buy it? You need to buy it, mom. Or dad, please. And then mom and then the mom and dad are like, oh, our son or daughter is so good, he's he's the best, or she's the best. We should buy him a gift. So they go and buy the gift that the kid was talking about that was in the advertisement advertisement, and then the money from that sale go ends up in those advertisers' pockets. Also, PewDiePie has other fans that are also Adults and, and money spending, so they're able to spend money. It, but Phil, if you if you know if you know that, then there you go. But you have a business degree. I, I I clearly don't, so I don't I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's why advertisers happen to target on uh, kids. I mean, with this logic, uh, let's go back to uh, this logic of, of advertisers care to target kids. Kids are not buying things. Then with that logic, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network should not have advertisements. At that point. A car advertisement or a Walmart advertisement. Those kids don't fucking drink coffee. They're not going to go buy a Starbucks because they saw an ad on a PewDiePie video. So this is the most popular shit on YouTube. It's not advertiser friendly. Because no one who watches those videos is of a fucking age to go buy a product. How do you know everyone who watches PewDiePie are kids though? Do you, do you, did you go to everyone's house who watches PewDiePie and, and, and look at them? Like no, no. It's all shit. It's shoveling the shit. And YouTube single-handedly through their website changes over the years made people like PewDiePie the most popular YouTuber because of the way that they changed the site. They made it so that other people who did other kinds of videos couldn't be popular. You had to have this kind of certain length of video, a certain kind of fucking thumb. Yeah, Mega64. And uh, actually, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut that, okay? Uh, cut that out. Enough that. Uh, Angry Video Game Nerd, I'll, I'll use him. He uses the same length for most of his videos, or roughly around the same length. And he's still around. He's still making money. A certain kind of edited content. It all had to be homogenized into one kind of video to be popular on YouTube, right? Not really. So... Because not every video is a Let's Play video that's popular on YouTube. The same. What did you expect was going to happen? You're throwing millions of dollars of advertisements at idiots making worthless videos for small children that don't 
give advertisers anything back for the advertisement space they bought. Of course they're going to pull off the fucking website. And then of course YouTube- Then why now? Why do they pull off now, Phil? Were they were they were they stuck in a contract with YouTube forever? Like they couldn't get out of their contract until now. What was what was so special about February for for these ads to be like ah you know what we're gonna leave? YouTube has been around for a long time, and this money this monetization with these ads have been around for a long time. So if they weren't making any money, if they were losing money. Why wait all the way till now to pull out? That's like this is a. It's like you go, you buy a ticket to go to to go on a trip. Let's say to like fucking Africa or somewhere, and you buy you buy your ticket, you plan it all out, you um, start packing your bags, and the moment you're at the gate, you're like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Africa. It's like, oh, no, 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 you go to the airport, you go on the airplane, you're in the air, and in the middle of the air, when you're when the plane's, like, taking off, you're just like, I don't want to go to Africa, guys. I want to pull out right now. I want to, can we turn the plane around? Like, you made, you, you, you made all this commitment to go to Africa or to wherever you're going, and now you're going to pull out? Not when you had all this time, like... You know, it's like making a plan like years in advance, and the day of, you're like, I, I don't want to do it. And it's like you you made all these plans, all these arrangements, and now at this particular moment, you want to you want to pull out. Like it's a, it's just kind of what the fuck. Like, why would advertisers wait until February of 2017 to be like, ah, I don't want to be on YouTube anymore? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Excuse, oh, well, it's automated, it's all per algorithm, we're a self-governing website, we rely on the viewers to govern the website. Well, then, it, that, you know that business model doesn't fucking work. What? Be responsible. Users are govern- what? For years, be responsible, YouTube. You have to hire a staff to review the videos. You have to make sure that- Hire a staff to, to view the videos, yeah, because that, that's gonna be affordable and possible. No. No, it won't work. When a copyright strike comes in, or a copyright request, that it's a legit one. Not just auto-fucking-flag everything, and you're guilty until proven innocent, and everyone gets a high-paying ad for garbage, you know what I mean? It's oh just that God. simple. And YouTube never did that. I mean, let's face it, if YouTube actually had a system, a real system that wasn't an automated piece of shit algorithm, instead, if they had a system of, gee, people who are on YouTube who've gotten consistent views over the years, who, you know, long-time dedicated viewerships, people who are proven to buy product, and those people got the high-paying ads? I don't think there'd be any issue here. The problem is YouTube didn't bother doing any of that. They did the easy way, the lazy way. I'm a bookworm. The lazy way, yeah, yeah. Because running a site that is global and worldwide is very fucking easy, guys. It's so easy. It's the easiest thing to do, guys. Do yourself a favor. Start a website. Make it a, web a video service, okay? And... Make it so that it, it, it's a global, worldwide website, and you monetize everything, and you have, like, a team of people who, who look at millions upon millions of thousands of videos, and they have to review all of them. That's it, because, because, you know, that it's worth it, you know, because, obviously, hosting a website like YouTube is just super easy, guys. I mean... I'm gonna write a fucking algorithmic code to throw on the fucking website and pray that this is going to be fine and the advertisers are too stupid to notice that no one's actually looking at this or working on anything. Pretty stupid. Pretty fucking stupid. Okay? You're stupid. Um, and the only people to blame here in this situation, it's not the content creators. It's not even the people who made the offensive content. But yeah. What? Okay, okay, well, well, we'll get to that, that part we just said, because it, it was mind-numbingly dumb, but the first part is like, oh, it's not the fault of the content creator, so it's not the fault of people who quit their, their, uh, their job that was paying and stable. They quit their job and decided to do YouTube full-time. So it's not their fault that they did that? What? 
usually when people make that decision, they own up to it. They're like, oh yeah, you know, I, I decide. Like, even that video I was talking about that girl, um, she at least took responsibility for it. It's like, yeah, you know, I, I left, I quit my job because YouTube was very lucrative. It was making me a lot of money and I thought that this was going to be stable. But see, she didn't say, well, it's YouTube's fault. See, YouTube lured me out of my job. They, they came to my job, forced me out, and it was like, this is a job. No, she at least... See, see, that's the thing. That's the reason why I kind of didn't want to do a video about her, because she at least was taking responsibility for what happened. She at least was like, yeah, I you know, thought YouTube was going to be stable. That's why I, I went to YouTube. Be it that you can say that, the, that that conclusion to say that YouTube would be stable is fucking dumb, but at least she owned up to it. Phil, it would blame his own mom before he took responsibility. It's fucking ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Now, now what he just said... Now let's get to that part. Because that, that is just so fucking dumb. Oh, it's not the fault of the people who make offensive content? They made the offensive content! They are to blame! For their own fault! Like, yeah, it, it, because when you upload a video on YouTube, and it's an automated system, and then more people upload the same amount of offensive content, there you go! Like, yeah, if it's for a joke, if it's not malicious, that's one thing. But you can't say that, oh, well, it's not because these people uploaded fucking offensive content. It is, it, that is a reason. And he just said that was why adversaries were pulling out. Now it's, oh, it's not their fault, it's YouTube? Did YouTube come to people's houses and say, make offensive content for us? Make, ISIS, make videos for us, guys. Oh, um... The KKK? Yeah, yeah, make videos for us. We'll, we'll, you know, fucking do everything. Just do fucking offensive videos. No. No. YouTube did not fucking commission these fucking videos. It's not YouTube's fault that people uploaded offensive content. It's the, it's the people who upload the fucking video. That is the dumbest fucking statement. And we just read a forum post of dumb statements. They didn't even, what did they do wrong? What did they do wrong? Yeah, what did they do wrong making a, a, a fucking video that would piss people off, that's offensive, and that could obviously bite, bite them in the ass? What did they do wrong? Dummy. If I, if I had a, if I were, let's say I was in the hospital, okay? Okay, dummy? DSP, DSP is a dummy, guys. And I start saying sweet, negative slurs, like racial slurs, start being offensive to every single person, then they, and they're like, you, you're fucking fired. You're fired because we can't have this this uh, kind of uh, language in our hospital. You know, because you're saying this to the, to this patient and this to that patient, and you know, it's just no one likes it. You've gotten a lot of complaints about it. I'm not gonna sit there like, well, it's the fucking hospital, guys. I mean, they just didn't let me have my freedom of speech. I should be allowed to say all these offensive things in my in the workplace because you know, it's not like you know my my colleagues are gonna be fucking. Uh, turned off or dis or disgusted or be offended or anything. No, no, it's it's fucking stupid. No, Phil. If someone uploads offensive content to a video ser video site anywhere for general, guess what's gonna fucking happen? People are gonna get fucking pissed. And I've said this before. The reason why shows like South Park get away with these with their like edgy humor is because they have people reading the fucking script, they edit the script, they put thought into it, and they make sure that it's funny. Yeah, they have gotten called out on multiple episodes in the past, and they've dealt with them fine. They didn't, like, fucking sit there and they, they didn't blame the fucking network. They didn't blame this. or like, well, we could see why people are offended, and we apologize. They take it like a fucking man. They own up to it, and they move on. They don't blame the fucking website. They don't blame everything else that's not them. Just abided by the ridiculous system that YouTube has put into place. It's actually YouTube itself. The business itself was set up to fail because it was being managed by a bunch of fucking know-nothing idiots who had- Yeah, the, the fucking idiots. No, fu fuck off. No business sense and no smarts whatsoever, and instead they were book smart and- YouTube isn't a fucking business. I mean, on Google's end, sure, they can treat it as a business because it's a part of their fucking brand. But for YouTubers, people who upload videos, it shouldn't be a fucking business. I'm sorry, Phil, but it shouldn't. The street smart, as I've said for years. You know, book smart, street smart. So that's you don't what's know. Going on with YouTube right now, all the ad. You don't know shit. Street smart, book smart, street smarts, book smarts. Shut the fuck up. I've talked about this in other videos where he brings that bullshit up. Fuck off with that.
revenue is going away from YouTube and be pulling out of the website. And the reason I'm bringing this up is every day now, I'm seeing new vi YouTubers, full-time YouTubers, people who've been doing it for years like me, who are making videos saying, that's it, the ride is over, folks. I love- Remember, remember when this was happening, like, years ago or whatever? Like, when people, when that, the uh, trending hashtag was, hashtag YouTube party is over, and then he made fun of that hashtag, and even this year, he made fun of it. He made a joke about, uh, YouTube party is over, and look, look where he is right now. YouTube party is over for him. This is fucking pathetic. And honestly, on my main channel, Theo does videos. I do reviews and shit. I made like pennies on that channel. Guys, uh, what am I going to do with my life? Oh no. Doing this, but I can't do it anymore. I just saw one the other day, a guy who gets way more- While he's still caring about YouTube revenue. I mean, it's- it it's fucking funny how that works. He was than me who says it's over. I'm gonna have to go try to get a job or be a stand-up comedian or something. A stand-up comedian. I can't go from YouTube to a stand-up comedian. Yeah, that that that's like okay. With the ad revenue I'm bringing in now, because it's less than half of what it was. I just saw girls. So but look, see, he took. He was like, I'm not making money on YouTube. I'm gonna go get a job. See, he's being practical. It's not. It's like yeah, it sucks, but hey, I gotta gotta pay my bills. Just link me to a video of a girl. Who probably gets about as many views as me, honestly, no, on her videos, saying that's it. I'm making ten dollars a day. Actually, well, she's I think she's British. She's I'm making ten. Oh, no, talking about the girl I was talking about. Cool. Day. <laughs> on her videos on YouTube. <laughs> but see, she didn't blame YouTube for it. She blame. She said, "Yeah, I went to. I quit my job to do YouTube full full time because you guys like my videos. I like doing them, and I was making a lot of money at the time." She took responsibility, Phil, something that you'd never do. She at least acknowledged that she that she fucking put herself in that situation. Pretty ridiculous. So, it's just mind-blowing that a website that these idiots just thought was going to govern itself was going to be a successful business venture. They're govern idiots. itself, yeah, okay. It's complete idiots, okay? Um, anyway... It's saddening. It's very saddening for me because I love, you know, I've loved doing this as a job. Now, luckily for me, in the last month, I said, I saw all this happening. I saw how February things tanked and I said, I can't fucking put up with this. While, uh, you know, arguably, he kept saying ad revenue is going down for three years straight, but he saw it now, guys. He just realized it now. There's no way I'm going to sit here and wait. I have to take action. So I did. I absolutely did. And, uh... Oh, by the way, shout out he to- He only took action when Machinima kicked his ass out of their partnership. I noticed that. I did. Coral guy who's in the stream chat tonight. Oh, Coral guy. The guy who he said was uh, committing credit card fraud, uh, didn't trust his $100 tip. Oh, now Coral, oh, Coral guy's cool now, guys. Coral guy, give him more, more money. A guy who fucking, uh, you know, insulted you multiple times. Coral guy, no, I am appreciative of your sub and the, uh, the tip you gave me last week because- like I said, at the time you gave me the tip, I didn't b know if I should believe it or not, and it was legit, so thanks, Coral Guy. I appreciate that. At least that. he apologized. I apologized for the weeks. confusion last week. All right. <clears throat> so, yes, folks. Um, right now, ad revenue on YouTube is terrible. In fact, it plummeted again this month. Remember I told you how in March it was up for me that I had left? I just love He was like, oh, curse. Curse is saving the business, guys. Curse. Curse, man. They did it. My, the job, the business is saved. And now it's, well, guys, got some bad news. It tanked. Fucking YouTube, right? Shinema, and I had joined uh, 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 Curse, and the ad revenue actually went up. Well, guess what? It's down again. It's back down to basically where it was kind of in February, um, which is really bad to the point where it's just abysmal. Now, the good news is, folks, if we can keep stuff up with Twitch, like I've said, if people keep cheering, if people keep subbing, if people keep tipping me on Twitch, if people keep Give me money. new merch from Teespring, okay, if people keep pledging to my Patreon, uh. as it went in March, if I can keep it around the level that it was in March, I think we're... But I thought he said March was a bad month, though, I thought. I, I don't know. He says a lot of things. It's gonna be okay, okay? 
I do. I actually think we're going to be okay. Because the bottom line is, first of all, I didn't even get as much money as I was supposed to get in March because I didn't get paid for anything Zelda because it all got claimed on YouTube, which was fucking bullshit, okay? Bullshit. And, uh... Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I think, oh, oh, just in April alone, because of the fact that I'm going to be getting credit for all the videos I upload to YouTube, I think it's going to be okay. Even though it's less ad revenue, it might end up evening out to what it was in March anyway, which would be good. Hold on. On YouTube, which was fucking bullshit, okay? And, uh... I think, oh, oh, just in April alone, because of the fact that I'm going to be getting credit for all the videos I upload to YouTube, I think it's going to be okay. Even though it's less ad revenue, it might end up evening out to what it was in March anyway. What? He said that revenue is down again. I mean, let, let, let me get this straight. Ad revenue is down in April, guys. You know, it went down again. It's almost as bad as February. As bad as February, okay? He said that. Then he said, "Well, with the I might with the amount of credit I'm getting for uploading to YouTube, uh, it might even out. Uh, it may not be as bad. It might even out. So, wh which is it? Are you are you going to be doing less or more or same? What what is going on? Then then, what the fuck are you talking about? Let me." Someone explain that to me, I mean... Which would be good. And so we can keep... Everything at the levels it was in March... This month... I think it's gonna be good. I think we're gonna be good to go. Moving forward, okay? I'm gonna do everything I fucking possibly can here... To keep stuff going and keep doing content... Streams and videos and everything for you. Alright? But I just gotta, you know. I have a feeling he's saying all this stuff to confuse his fans because, because that's the other thing. There's a lot of, of ways to trick people by giving like people like loads of information, so they don't know which to believe or they like oh well it must be low because he's talking about it so passionately and so long. It, it must be for, for for real guys. Gotta always talk about it and say, you know, I don't just know. please keep it in mind until we can get it consistently, until every day we get people coming on the stream. I just thought that was Oh, weird. man, I got a cheer, got a sub, got a tip, and, you know, remember Patreon, remember Teespring and all that. You know, I gotta bring it up. You gotta understand, it's only been a month I've been doing it like, doing it like you know, remember Patreon, remember Teespring and all that. You know, I Jesus Christ, that is some quality entertainment right here, and that guy got banned, by the way. Gotta bring it up. You gotta understand, it's only been a month I've been doing it like <laughs> this, and I am very nervous that at any moment... I could have a day where no one does anything. And if no one does any of those things in a day, I make no money, basically, because of what happens with YouTube, all right? Oh, no. And I just, I seriously, I just saw this video of this poor girl who's been doing YouTube, gets about as many views as I do on YouTube, and is basically saying, I was doing this for years as, as I quit my job in engineering because YouTube was so good, and now it's to the point where I'm making $10 a day, and obviously I can't pay my bills. And I'm like, this is some fucked up shit, man. Yeah, it's so fucked up that she willingly, with, a, with her mind, with you know, willingly decided to quit her job to do YouTube videos on a website that is ever-changing and has been known to change consistently uh, for a job. I, I really, I really don't get where this idea of YouTube is a stable job came from. How did anyone think YouTube was stable? H how? How did that happen? I I had a feeling it wasn't stable from the fucking moment they started having these monetized partnerships. This is a fucking website. It's like going on Netflix and assuming every movie that's there is going to stay there forever. When that's not the fucking case. A movie can be pulled out of Netflix by tomorrow. This is a fucked up situation. This company sucks. Go this company sucks, but I'm going to still upload videos on YouTube and, and beg for views and shit. YouTube, they fucking suck. And boy, do they deserve. If any company deserves some fucking shaming. It's them. Because now Yeah, not the, the not the idiots who think YouTube is a fucking stable career where you can only have YouTube revenue, right? Remember when copyright strikes and claims were a thing and people were like, "Oh, man, now I'm making less money because of these of the stupid automated not nonsense." So I'm going to go make a Patreon to make up for the difference because I can't, you know, whatever. And that's fair. That's, that's fine. A lot of people open a Patreon for that. But see how, see how that happened? They opened a Patreon and they, they, there you go. Now it's like, why are you telling me YouTube is a fucking, like, fuck off. The bubble is finally burst and you can't blame anyone but them. This is a clear, 
clear. Absolutely clear. Clear. Culprit. And place to blame all this on. And it's not the people who've been creating the content for years who changed their fucking lives around so they could do this for a living. If I told my mom that I was going to do YouTube for a living, she would be fucking yelling at me at this point. She'd be like, why are you doing fucking YouTube for a life? That, that's not a job. That can't be a job. Because it's got... It's, it fluctuates, it does this, it's a fucking website. Get a job that's stable as job security. Like, like, does no one ever fucking think about that when they fucking do YouTube? Does... What the fuck? What, what? The fuck? If, it, if you want to do YouTube for, for a living, okay, fine, yippee. But find other ways to make money because, you know, you should think in your mind... YouTube might disappear tomorrow, guys. YouTube might just forego the monetization and be like, yeah, I know it. We try the monetization. It's not fucking worth it. We're going to end it. Or they're going to go back to how it used to be because before, they had a lot of harsher requirements to be to uh, be monetized on YouTube. And some, and some partnerships do have that same requirements where you need to have a stable amount of views, uh, a stable amount of subs, all this kind of stuff. They have all these like requirements before you can get paid. And the YouTube might have that come back. They might have more requirements now to be monetized at this point. So why would you think that YouTube is a stable fucking job? I'm sorry if you if you thought that, if but it's never gonna fucking stay that way. I'm sorry, YouTube's a fucking website. Times change, things happen. When you throw money thing into something, it changes the site. If Vidme ever got the same monetization that YouTube has, guess what's gonna happen to Vidme, guys? Just fucking guess. Because it looked like it was profitable and it was viable, it's YouTube's fault. Yeah, it's YouTube's fault that you looked at a website and you and you came up with the idea willingly to switch to change your life to a site. Or, what? Oh my oh my god. Unreal. And like this, this little frustration I'm having over this, this has been something I've been noticing more and more, and, and it just kind of it, it it reached the peak of it, like because before with the copyright strikes and copyright claims, it kind of was there with that, and same thing with Nintendo. But you know, then they opened Patreon. I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. They're able to be like, okay, well, because if they wanted to do YouTube, they were like, well, hey, we should just open a Patreon. And I was like, okay, you know, that's fine. You're you're doing something that that's proactive and shit. Okay, fine. These people are complaining, and they have fucking Patreons, they have all this shit, and they're like, oh, YouTube! It's a fucking website. Yes, Brody, and anyone else, I am fully aware of the streaming regulations that Atlas has put out for Persona 5. I will not be streaming past July 7th. I know this. People keep linking me the same article for three days straight now about this, even though I talked about it on, uh, at length. Yeah, how dare you try to help me out with uh, streams just in case I didn't uh, I didn't know or whatever. I mean, fuck you guys. I mean, get on top of it. On my pre-streams, it's obvious no one's listening. <laughs> wow. It's obvious the only people that are listening are you, you guys who are here live on stream, that no one's actually watching the, the on-demand. Because I'm getting a ton of people every day are sending me the same stuff. I'm like, yes, I've seen this. I have seen it. Thank you. I, I, I know, listen, I'm not being, I'm trying not to be mean. I know people are doing it because they're trying to be nice. They don't want me to get in trouble, all right? But I'm not doing anything I'm not supposed to do. The rules well, just are, express my I'm not streaming past the, uh, j j uh, July 7th in the game. I will not be doing that, okay? Like, you didn't have to, like, say that. You could have just not said anything at all. Right now, in-game, I'm only on uh, April 20-something. <sighs> you know, so I get the feeling I've got a ways to go before we get to July 7th. Oh, thank you, Derek, for an early happy birthday message. I appreciate that, Derek. I'm going to be about 87 years old tomorrow. 87. <laughs> That's I'm, I look young for my age, don't I? See, people always say, I feel looks old. No, I'm young. I'm 87 years old. You didn't know. Oh, my God. I have to go to the bathroom. And this is yeah, we are. We're all going to get blue-balled, Jackson Hero. You're right. Jackson Hero just said, we're all going to get blue-balled uh, when he hits July 7th. You're absolutely 100% right, because I'm loving the game. And I know we're going to really be enjoying it. And then we're going to hit that and be like, well, I can't play it anymore. That's literally when I hit July 7th in Persona 5. That, for all effects and purposes, is the end of my Persona 5 playthrough. Wow. Maybe, just maybe, and this is a strong maybe, maybe Atlas will stop being morons in a year or two. Okay. And uh, maybe 
they will not enforce this after a while, and therefore I'll be able to come back at the end of this year, maybe next year, and actually play and finish the game. But the bottom line is, the playthrough will be... It's probably not going to last a year. I, I think that's a little ridiculous. It's probably going to last at most a month. That's my guess. It's probably, it's probably They're probably going to lift it probably around May or June. Just saying. Over. I won't be able to play the game for anything, for streaming or YouTube. I won't be able to review the game. I won't be able to do anything. I guess what I'll have to do is make kind of like a final thoughts video. When I hit that date in the game and we can't play anymore, I'll make a final thoughts video saying, well, for this chunk of the game, here's my review, and I can't play past it, so fuck it. Oh well. <laughs> he can play past it, he just can't upload those videos, and then he can do a full review, but he doesn't want to do that, so... Oh well, and it's not gonna be- it's certainly not gonna be in my Game of the Year awards, because it can't make it. Because I can't finish it. So stupid. Assuming it won't be resolved in less than a year. Alright, so are we ready to go, everyone? So FYI, we're in the dungeon, by the way. We're in the first- we're still in the first dungeon. We're still going on with the first dungeon. Oh, don't worry, there's ten minutes, guys. Um, Calm down. And, uh, for the you, I think when you're in the end, but it's funny because they just said I was halfway through. I was like, you're kidding me? Really? I guess the dungeons are really freaking long in this game then. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, oh my god, sir. excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Jackson Hero says, but they've had this, these limitations uh, on the Japanese version till now too, right? Well, yes and no. Apparently when Persona 5 originally came out, they did enforce it. But now, apparently, you can find full playthroughs of the game on YouTube. Like, full, start to finish, you can watch the entire game in its entirety. So, <clears throat> so I don't know. I, that's the thing. It's, it'd be one thing if there was consistency, but when you the game's been out for six months, and you can watch the whole game from start to finish in Japanese, why they would enforce this in English makes no sense at all. I think that's one of because the Because there might be people like me who like the English dub more, so... Well, no, there's that. Why we're all so confused. Sire1986 says, why play it if it's going to be an unfinished playthrough? Just skip it. Well, it's two reasons. Number one, because I'm loving the game. I think the game's really good. And number two, because it's what everyone wants to see right now. People voted for it. Tonight, I had an option between Persona 5 or Mass Effect, and people voted for Persona 5. This is what you want to see. Okay? okay? I understand it's going to be an unfinished playthrough, but hey, that's not my fault. It's not my control. Uh, what else would I be playing right now? I could be playing Mass Effect, which people... Did not want to see as much as this, apparently. I could be doing Danganronpa, which has a very small audience. Even though it's a dedicated audience, it's a very small one. I can't just keep playing that nonstop. Um, you know. Now, next week, we'll have Ukulele, so that'll be good. Oh, but I'm playing this you know, for as much as I can now. Some some morons named some dung just said something really stupid in the stream chat. I don't even know what he was trying to say, but it was insulting, so bye. So the idiot was some dung. By the way, thank you, uh, Full Hands, for highlighting these these uh, comments. I mean, you, he said, "Well, why don't you play ahead of stream and figure out what to what you're supposed to do before July, so you don't look like an ass to the world." I agree with that. He could have done, he, like, filled it, what? <laughs> oh, I want to hear that again. Apparently that confused him. Lately, so that'll be good, but I'm playing this, you know, for as much as I can now. <clears throat> some, some morons named some dung just said something really stupid in the stream chat. I don't even know what he was trying to say, but it He's, so, so, he doesn't understand, he's an idiot, uh, he... As, uh, some, some dung is an idiot, guys. Uh, he, he's not making any sense. Because he's, he's saying, like, I could play the game off stream, and then I could hold the videos until, you know, the end of July 7th. Nah, that's fucking dumb. Insulting, so bye. Bye. Alright, is everyone ready? I guess we'll resume. We got about, we'll play, I'll play for about two hours here tonight. Then, uh, then I gotta do, get to other stuff. Start uh, going back to school to work in school. What? Got a shower and everything here tonight. I, I'd like to actually be clean for my birthday. <laughs> he takes a shower the day before. 
This guy doesn't know how hygiene works, does he? What, what a fucking pig. Sire 1986, you're pretty much correct. He just said, even though Phil's hyped for it, he's playing it for money to survive, and it's not like he's going to play it off camera. I mean, he's right. In yeah, the why play it off camera? A game I like. Play another game for YouTube and Twitch and shit. Play that game offline, so then when the ban is lifted, I have videos to upload while I do other games. So I can have more videos on YouTube and, and make a lot more money or whatever. Yeah, why would he do that? That's fucking dumb, guys. Stupid. The line is, if I had a lot of time, free time outside of what I'm doing on stream here or for YouTube, yeah, I would keep playing Persona 5, but the bottom line is I don't. I don't have a lot of free time. I'm busy. So then, our boy Full Hands highlighted another one. This is a business no longer a hobby. Busy, busy every day, doing four to six hours of streaming, getting videos uploaded, <laughs> doing stuff for the business. And operating a household here behind the scenes. I don't have extra time to play games operating behind the a scenes. Operating a household. I just don't. It's not like, uh, you know, years and years ago. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, he was able to do Dragon, uh, Dangan, Dragon Gompa, whatever. <laughs> Dangan Grandpa. Uh, it's not like he did that, uh, you know, off stream or anything, right? He couldn't, you can't do that with Persona 5. Hmm. Interesting. St. Anti, no, this is not the same situation for Zelda. Uh, the situation with Zelda was... That, here, you know what? Let me get rid of this. I'll talk to you guys with the camera so you understand. Hello, here I am. You know what? Is the light too low? Hold on, I'm going to turn the light up a, a notch. It looks like it's a little too dark in here. Hold on. To, to warrant me continuing to play and finish the game. With, with uh, Persona, I can't even do that. Can't do that persona, guys. Okay. Alright, let's begin with the game, folks. I know, I keep getting to start. I keep saying I'm going to start, and then people ask me another question. And then I answer it, and then I don't start again. Alright, let's start. Or you can do both. You can answer the question and start. So here we are. I'm going to try to clear this room of enemies. Something even though I have, weird no, about I have no SP. Character design. All right, everyone ready? So fucking weird. So anyway, just a reminder, all right? Here we go. Just a reminder, please remember you can cheer, you can sub, you can Give tip. Give me money. I did an okay earlier today, but anything you can do tonight is appreciated because I need that. Because It was okay today, guys, but you know, you guys need to pick up the slack. Come on. So what's going on with YouTube right now and the absolutely abhorrent ad revenue, I need your support as much as possible. So if you're enjoying the stream, participate if you can. All right, let's go. Start record. Stop record. Start record. All right. Well, uh, Our let's see. How do I... Thanks, uh, Eternia Forever for the 10-bit cheer. However, what he's saying is not correct. He's saying, Phil, if, if the fans band together... Oh, okay. Here. Phil, possibly the fans can band together and tip enough to play only on Twitch to finish... To finish. Together, ...and they give you, like, tips and stuff and support on Twitch. Can you keep playing Persona 5 past the point where... Uh, Atlas is telling you not to play. The answer is no, because Atlas will still sh probably shut down the stream. They might give me a copyright strike or something. So I can only play this. But he just he just said in the, the one of the pre-streams we watched that they won't be able to do that because it would require Atlas to be on the stream to watch the stream to do that. But now they don't have to be on the stream to do that. Huh. Uh, okay as far as I can get until Atlas decides it's a no-go. Oh my god. Wow, Nolbert started talking shit. Oh my god. He said, it looks like I crushed Darth. No one could top, could top my power. And then Darth did a 507 bit cheer and tied him, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, save complete. Very nice. Alright, well everyone. Hello, oh shit, hold on. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
yeah, that's it for tonight, everyone. That's the end of tonight's stream. I've been streaming for over two hours, so. Um, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna upload... Hold on. Before we get too, too jazzy here. I'm gonna upload all these videos to DSP Gaming, add them to the playlist for the night. Alright, tomorrow. I will be streaming, even though tomorrow is my birthday. Uh, I will be streaming... Uh, the same, you know, hour so. Not two streams tomorrow, only one stream tomorrow. But it'll be at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, Okay. Uh, four, four plus hour gameplay stream tomorrow. So tomorrow we resume with the finale of this first dungeon. We get to steal this treasure, see what happens. I don't know if we have a boss fight or if we just steal the treasure. I don't know what happens. And then whatever happens after that, we'll have hours more gameplay after that, okay? Okay. Alright, so that is it now. Some people have been saying, um, they want to have a tally. What happened tonight? Well. Yeah, a lot of, uh, of his fans felt sorry for him, so they gave him a lot of pity. Uh, tips. They indulged his dumbass cheerleader nonsense because because that, that's the thing. Notice how before, like last week and all that stuff, uh, no one really gave a shit about uh, cheerleading or whatever. They just kind of did whatever. This night was the only time I've seen his fans be like, "Ah, oh, cheerleader! Ah, oh, yeah, I'm a cheerleader with this night." And I feel that they only indulged on it for his birthday, like actively like talking about being cheerleaders. We had one new sub tonight. One new sub, so thank you to the person who subbed. The, it was actually around the beginning of the stream. And, uh, then we had 8,900 bits cheered tonight. Between the three guys that were battling of the past half hour, uh, 8,900 yeah, 8, bits cheered. <laughs> Pretty crazy. So thank you to those who were participating there and were in that battle. Um... A nice, good, e early way to, to start my birthday, okay? Very lucrative. <clears throat> birthday so, money. So, that's it, everyone. 11 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow. See you then for the conclusion of this session. And that's it. Have a good night. All right, everyone? See you tomorrow. Peace out. You got birthday money. Notice how he sounds more, like, de defeated in other videos, but here it's like, Oh, yeah! This is do money! All right. Okay. That's it, guys. I talked enough for two hours. Can't believe that happened. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.